going to recognize how to It's very important. Because otherwise, I'm going to go to the curriculum. I'm going to go to the industry. My sister is going to go to the story. I'm going to go to the charge of 20,000. I'm going to go to the charge of 20,000. I'm going to go to the charge of 20,000. I'm going to go to the charge of 5,000. So, we need to stop this thing. If there's anything I can do in yeah. a sober moment is, guys, stop thinking less about the industry. Yeah. I know mm. everything. Yeah. Everybody knows everything. Yeah. 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 Hello, I guess now it's almost studio. Go pay my dear. Mm. No, but let's let company go and say petty cash. Yeah. Eh, my dear, I got high the petty cash. Eh. Because most of us, we don't get paid every time your advert gets paid. Yeah. What people are gonna do? They get some people who can pay. What about the people? Were you hard to work with, though? We're not trying to say ecologists do anything. But now we're talking about something. Eh. I honestly believe. Sometimes I feel like I'm to blame for this, the way things some some things are on radio broadcasting. Because I was like the at the beginning with eh. the blueprint with regards to women on broadcasting in private radio broadcasting at yeah. least and younger women you know yeah, younger women um, yeah. because I think Yaruna FM actually recognized what they had in me yeah what they didn't account for was my departure before their grand plan so I think one of their mistakes maybe would have been oh we should have briefed her or her family listen this is our bigger picture for you so that we can understand it's more than just oh jazz has enough money to buy toiletries and yeah. you know do whatever i yeah. feel like there could have been more of, of an intentional investment was in there the conversation future. though Yo, 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 what's poppin' everybody? Welcome to it, man. Another edition of the Booty Cast right here at Staywell Hotels in Mauritania with your boy SCAR. Sing it with me. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's going on, guys? And uh, yeah, proudly brought to you by the good people here at uh, Local Corner. Stop. So, we're moving forward. Shout out to Bartender. Shout out to everybody who's part of the show. Shout out to Naviv, our amazing makeup artist. She's also in the house. And uh, today, yes, we're getting more ladies onto the show because the ladies make the world go round. And like I said, it's not because we don't have enough ladies. It's just because ladies are that busy. All the time. So when we do get them, we're so, so happy. And uh, this one is not just a lady. She's someone I consider a sister, a friend, a lot. But apart from that, she's a renowned master of ceremony uh, for high-level corporate and government events in Botswana. And uh, she's also a public speaking coach to entertainers and corporate individuals with an interest in developing their MC capabilities. And uh, she's also founder of the first Radio Broadcasting Awards project, Ebinawata, the Good Radio Awards, right here in PW. Uh, I've never been nominated. Because every time they pop up, I'm fired. But yeah, she's in the house. <laughs> it's Giselle Kebakile. Hi, Mama. How are you doing? My brother from another mother. Let him go. I'll get him to the next one. Ma, let him ma. 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 Thank you so so much for coming through. You look beautiful. What? I mean, this is for you, homie. <sighs> I take it all in. Oh, oh way. Yeah, and I'm even wearing my favorite color green. You know, ma. African prosperity, bro. That's what we're all about. Thank you for having me. Yo, Thank what you so, a privilege. So much for Thank you so, so much for coming. And uh, yo, where are you coming in from? I mean, right now when we're recording, this is five o'clock, but where are you coming in from? Oh, so you want to know about my day today? I'm trying to know what you've been doing. Fabulous. Yeah, okay. Um, how I prefer my Mondays is I'm the kind of creature that doesn't believe in wearing a bra on a Monday. Hey. La. Unless it comes with money. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. So I prefer to be home, you know, working through the admin of my week, okay. meditating on my intentions and my goals for that week. Okay. But every now and then on a Monday, I get called out for things and I have to put my bra on. Um. So I had to put my bra on this morning um. Um, because I had to go and do a voiceover recording, okay. which is something that I do quite a bit often. 
more than I imagined, hey, Ska. That's yeah. a career that I think I have, I've just begun to tap into, hey? Yeah, yeah. Um, I think I respected it more during COVID era. But anyway, yeah, mm. so this morning, yeah. I had a recording with a huge company and yeah. I'm so excited. They're doing a particular campaign and they've selected me as the voice for this campaign. So we were stuck in studio all morning. Yeah. Um, they wanted to do half eight. I said to them, listen, I'm a creative. We don't do half eight. It's against our religion. <laughs> you know, day. we're usually gigging during the weekend. Yeah. You know, Zen is one person who made me feel comfortable telling clients that. She's like, no, Jazz. Because yeah. I used to complain to her and say, yeah, these corporates and government are calling me, sis. Yeah. And like, I have to what? go in there. But like, they want me to wake up at 8.30. She's like, sis, tell them now. <laughs> but I'm never there either on a Monday. Take right. it from someone who performs on a weekend. Sometimes you'll be wondering to yourself, or well, how is the accountant not there on a Monday when it's time to pay niggas? This is so the truth. Libor, they can't be acting all fresh as well. So because you were actively doing the work in front of people, so it makes sense for you to be resting. It's true, but I really so. appreciate this client from this morning. I mean, mm. she rocked up in studio, which is very rare. You know, usually it's just us in the production team. Micro manager. But yeah, but you know, she she came in with such beautiful grace though. Oh, okay. And she dressed up for me. She looked hey. fabulous. You know who you are, sis. Hey. You look fabulous we didn't take a picture together but our color coordination was going um, so yeah i'm excited i'm doing a lot of voiceover work well not as much as i'd like to but yep. every now and then the phone call comes in so that's what happened with my day this morning and then after that i had to sit down in front of my computer mm-hmm. and attend to my work as a public relations consultant okay i work with a couple of interesting organizations and i had some work to catch up on and um, then i was thinking about today hey, hey. i was just psychologically and spiritually preparing myself for this experience with you i'm going to throw you off because you're going to have to be the one to open this here a gift for you from Bartender. Ah, oh, Bartender, beverage, I love you guys. Um, sponsor. So um, I usually avoid doing it uh-huh. because it's all good. So um, all good. It's all good. So it's all good. So it's all good. So it's all good. So it's I'm a groupie first because mm-hmm. for most people who don't know, yeah. Bore, when I, my come up in uh-huh. like music and whatever was through you, in that, like, I did your uh, your jingle when yes. you first got on Yarn FM. You were 16 years old. And then, for those who don't know, uh, what happens is that, like, she, she wanted an intro for her show. So me and my group, uh, VOT, I think, yeah. and then you allowed us to come through and do the jingle yeah, for you. Yeah, that was because of my sister, hey? How that happened, ugh, I love you for remembering that story. <laughs> I have habits in life that affect my short-term, my, my long-term memory. Yeah, so ma. I love it when younger brothers can remember things and jog our memory, you know. If you know, you know. Um, so yes, my younger sister, you know, yeah, shout out Toki. Yeah, yeah, we love you. Uh, yeah, we talk yeah. Um, yeah, so we one day she says to me, Listen, sis, I've got these two friends, they're amazing. I think she was like your first publicist, your first biggest fan. She was like, No, my friend Tato is amazing, he's gonna be the next biggest superstar, he's our Jay-Z. Listen, like what? you need to like one time, like, you know, do something with him. And I'm like, Great. Um, so I had it in the back of my mind. And yeah. then one time when we had to do like um, new show jingles, I thought, oh my goodness, yeah. these friends yeah. reached out to you guys and you guys came through. Yeah. What happened with that beat? Was okay. it was it from the it studio? It was Mace. I think it was probably Mace. Oh, it was no. a Mace song. It was, I, I don't know if it was Mace or like the one had the A+. Plus. Yeah. But you did the intro. Yeah. It was like, um, so... So you think that you... Can, eh? So you thought that they could never... Hey, do like do 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 okay. Okay. So... No, this we know is, how to handle things. So this is like a full circle for me, all yeah. right? Um, in that, mm-hmm. I would have never been anywhere near a radio station or near, I don't know, man. I was 16 and I'm writing about a show, all right? So I'm trying to think, okay, so this is going to air every single day when this lady gets on the radio. And guess what? Here I am interviewing you. You were amazing. In yeah. fact, what you're not telling people is that I never had an intention to do the intro. Of the <laughs> is this that you guys were so amazing? I wanted um, to jump on. Um, so no, I did so like a little happy. chorus. I think it went, so you never thought that this could ever happen. Hey, so you bro. never thought that this, this could, could ever be. be. Step on. aside, because here we come and we ain't stopping. Hey. We're coming for the final entry. And then and you then and Fox came in and you did your thing. It was a fabulous intro. And Fox is now hosting the morning show at Yarn FM. I'm so like, proud of him. Does that make you feel old? No, it feels, you know what? It, it makes me feel privileged, Tato. Mm. It makes me feel so, oh, sh- do I do no, call you, you Ska or Tato here? No, I, I, okay. I am, I am, I am. It makes me feel privileged, my younger brother, because mm. this journey that we have walked in this industry, um, after you've m- come through certain milestones, be they good milestones or bad milestones, yeah. you get to a point where you get scared of being called a legend because yeah. in Botswana, 
Legends Die. Hey. Legends Die Prematurely in Botswana. So that's yeah. a title I've been running away from many years, especially through my struggles, because I was like, no, Mina, I don't want to be called a legend. I don't Because either. in BW, legends die too soon. Yeah. Um, but yeah. It's crazy how point. time flies. But like, I'm going to take it back yeah. to all the way to, to the beginning, because like a lot of, I started really young. And I think the only person that I saw who started way younger than I was in entertainment was you and Hosi. Yes. Um, so how then do you get onto Yarona FM? I mean, you're, you're going to school you know this is what from three yes i was um i think i was doing yeah i was doing form three form i was three, six, yes. just about to turn 16 i was in form three yeah. yeah i think my story tato really it's um it's one of those messages about the fact that when your calling comes to you it will come to you in ways that you can't ignore yeah uh, the word compelling tends to stay with me when i tell people my story okay. because at the age of just before 16 i was a form three student and i was feeling compelled to find my way into the hands of these people that were building a radio station for young people yeah um they had written about it in the newspaper, so I yeah. cut out a, a clip of the newspaper, carried it with me for the longest of times. And then you know how Botswana is very small, we all know each other, and yeah. if you hunt deep enough, yeah. you don't even have to go too far. You know someone who knows someone. <laughs> yeah. What's that degree of six or something? That oh, thing about why? what what people six in Botswana hey. is three. <laughs> if you put your mind to it, one there's three, three people, people around you, yeah, yeah, who know somebody who knows somebody who can get you the information you need or to mm. put you in the situation where you can go and knock on the door that you not need to knock on. So, yes. um, a dear friend happened to be neighbors with the guy who was tasked with finding talent. She gave mm. me his number. Um, I didn't have a cell phone, so I was using my grandmother's landline uh -huh. and i was like oh dumelang ne ke kopa go botsa ka radio station ya lona go na le di audition ena komang e be ke tobetsa mosadi a le khwampolela gore tobetsa o wane yang 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 e be ke senya e be go cancel a message e be ke tsa cool down e you know i called for two seconds and then i came back and i was like hi you need me on your new radio station you'll have to call me to find out why i don't know what compelled me tato i can't claim to know everything about my story i yeah. look back on it i'm yeah. a mom now and i'm like what was i doing at 16 telling these people that they need me on their radio station yeah. i didn't have any experience yeah. i was just a sunday school teacher yeah. a drama student i mean that was the relationship i had with the creative sector back then you yeah. know was yeah. spending time with people's children and introducing them to the concept of a relationship with god yeah. at the roman catholic church that was what my saturdays were dedicated to and then you know, otherwise I was a drama student aside from the conventional studies that you take at school, Definitely. you know. So this man tells me years later that my message, my voice note was like number 100 because bots are so small. Yeah. So everybody's, you know, finding this man and sending Neil him man, messages. Neil, man, the mix. Mike Proctor. Neil, Mike Proctor at the time. Yeah. yeah. Shakes the mix. I met him. Yeah, it's so funny you mentioned him. Um, <laughs> he was at RB2. He was at RB2 yeah, doing I the rap last, the yes. hip-hop show that made everyone love hip-hop. All across the country, you'd go, go into the cattle post and listen to a hip-hop show. So, yeah. Shakes the mix. Mar Mike Proctor was the first one who initially sort, sorted you yeah, out. Yeah, he, he was in charge of talent search for Yarn FM. He was coordinating the audition. Mm -hmm. and he was responsible for making calls. So uh, Mike Proctor is the first person who was in charge of finding talent for Yarnet. Yes, he hey. was responsible for talent search. So he hey. tells me later he had like a hundred voice notes and <laughs> you know he went through all of them and they sounded a lot like my first one. Hey. And the reason he ended up calling me back was because he was like, who's this one with the tenacity? She thinks she knows why we need her. What's hey. this? <laughs> so he calls me, you know, and we spoke. We had a beautiful conversation. I think he was just trying to delve into my psychology and yeah. get an idea of my personality personality and then towards the end he's like yeah anyway we have auditions man um yeah. so you should come through for the auditions he told me the location and times and such and he's like oh by the way how old are you i was like i'm 16 he's like oh my gosh and i think he was talking to somebody else in the on you know in the room he's like oh my gosh this teenager just like took up all this time but she's so young <laughs> i don't know what i had in me i gave him this long lecture about listen you must understand the youth of this country are holding the future in our hands and if you don't give us opportunities you are denying yourself of access to insight and advice from people who have done nothing but watch you guys do wrong or oh right. Lord. Something like that, you, you know? You came advocating for the young people at, at 16, the time. 16, bro. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I, I want to hey? get into that because just when I was direct, okay, I told you, 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 I
a lot of us don't understand Botswana back then. I mean, this is what, 90 man, 90s, 99. 99. Yeah. A lot of us don't understand Honohore. We were not as connected as we are right now because the social media. Yes. Now people are able to like holler at each other and be able to converse with each other. So one for people who didn't understand it then or we were not as connected mm. as people are now people are able to communicate Error. you know like for you to have that confidence about being able to at the age of 16 what, what do you think it was because like you mentioned your name roman catholic mm-hmm. because that's where a lot of people used to like hang out but yeah to me ramson and i went to church together actually at roman catholic I really want and to the fate about, as well that was I our hangout about, spot i want to talk about the fate ah eh, yeah. or, because i think that's where you probably got your confidence too because a lot of these young people back Boroni, used to go to the roman catholic people had the, the the latest drip you know all of that what was going on at the fate do you know the fate, I think, was designed by the Roman Catholic Church community to create a space for young people to spend time with each other. Mm. But it wasn't exclusive to young people. I think we just found a pocket of, of, of enjoyment in yeah. the fate. The fate was really created for arts and crafts and to stimulate local business. Hey. So there was a, lo- a lot of um, you know church congregants who had small stalls, whether they were selling like ointments yeah. or jewelry okay. or Bibles or other books that were of a spiritual nature or clothes there was yeah, just yeah. a variety of stuff like bo ga to bidwa eng sukire ka reng khalele e he ya no ye o sukire ka reng khalene nak mo go pinky pinky mo go ga teng candy floss candy floss candy floss my english was a little bit lazy your mom okay so candy floss it's a lie it's the first time i've heard anyone describe it that way because like i said some of us tota ke rena ritsana go use this a yes so no, he didn't understand why you want to go to the main mall on a Saturday mm. to go hang out. So my, my, my parents were pretty strict. But for people who went there, even like the people... Baba yeah. speed Yeah. A lot of them hung out there. So mm. it's really nice to hear someone describe it in that way. Or it, mm. it was actually like, you know, local commerce. It was a community mm. empowerment initiative, a community development initiative. Yeah. So that guys cannot just be worshipping together. They can, you know, engage and, you know, kids can come out, families can come out. Yeah. So it's just because in, in Gabs back then, there wasn't too much to engage the youth community. Yeah. We really congregated there yeah, yeah, yeah. there was all these kids who went to school with other children who went to other churches mm. so we'd let you guys know the fate is starting and they'd yeah. be playing beautiful music yeah we'd get to walk around the church spend time together lots of relationships were started <laughs> yes. at the fate i was about you to tell know, you about that there's a, a lot, lot of couples of from the fate yes yeah. a lot of relationships started at the fate but like even the friendships yeah like absolutely, i think absolutely. even for people g- getting more confident within the, like not only goes cool and sabone mm. but also engaging with other people from other schools so that's totally dope um, yeah. I, I, I want to ask you about like your, your audition um, when they finally did hit you back when about Mike Proctor how difficult was it like did you just waltz in and got okay. your contract well I think just before I tell you about the audition I still owe you a bit of insight on you asked me a question earlier that I don't think I've honored yet and yeah. that was about um, what compelled me yeah. To, to make these phone calls and be so aggressive yeah. and say, you need me, look yeah. out for me. I'm a needle in a haystack, yeah. you know? Um, my relationship with, I think it was because of falling in love with radio. Mm. I had already fallen hopelessly in love with the medium of broadcasting, radio broadcasting specifically. Mm. And that started because my late father bought me a radio handset. Mm-hmm. There was a time in my teenage life where I was spending, where I was living with my aunt and uncle when mm-hmm. they were starting up their life. Hello, Auntie V. Hello, <laughs> Uncle T. Um, and dad bought me a radio and I spent a lot of my time like on weekends, if I wasn't doing homework during the week, if I wasn't helping with house chores, I mm. was listening to the radio, Scar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had DSTV in the house, but yeah. you know, I'd watch it sometimes. Yeah. My uncle would come make us watch football, which yeah. I never caught on to. And I asked my aunt when am I going to love football she's like honey when you get married so I'm still <laughs> waiting for that day you know um, so 
radio was my happy space because yeah. I would close the bedroom door and then I would listen and it would feel like DJ said is literally telling me it's not hard to love me at all. <laughs> Cuz he had that thing, eh? Hey? Yeah, he had this thing where he'd finish off with the same song and he'd be like at the end of his show he'd be like remember it's not hard to love you at all. Mm, <laughs> and then he'd blow a kiss. Mm, You've got to remember the mm, please say the oh, mm, you know. My God. Hello DJ said. <laughs> so Brazil. Yeah, he made me fall in love with the medium of radio listening to guys like him, listening to guys like uh you know Shakes the Mix, listening mm. to guys like DJ Fresh. I spent so much intimate time with the radio. Yeah. It transported me. It was like a teleporting machine yeah. because these guys would take me to different places through music, through yeah. the words, through the insights. Mm. And then I fell in love so hard and deep because I spent so much alone time with it. Yeah. At some point I said, "Okay, but how do they do that?" Yeah. Then that was now an obsession for me. To find the how. out. Yeah. 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 Or how, this how? Thing done? how does this guy do this? He doesn't know me. <laughs> how does he make me feel so good? Yeah. How does he give me such, you know, how does he honor three hours of my time and play mm. the most amazing songs and make me fall in love with songs that yeah. I didn't know? Yeah. Like, I still love that song. It's not hard <laughs> to love you, baby. Because of him, yeah. you know? Um, so that, 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 that possession to, to want to know the how, mm. I got my first string to hang on to when i saw that article that said i was like but i think this is also like a, a, a test well a lesson to even banana baba reddits and right now even in the the age of social media yes just being proactive Absolutely. Um, you've got a, it's a confidence thing. It's a confidence thing, Tato. And yeah. I think for me, that's where this interesting journey that our country is going through right now of mind, mindset shift, mind mindset shift. change. Yeah, mindset change. I think change. that's where it really resonates for me is with the young people. Oh. Because in our country, we are raised to be a certain way culturally. Yeah. Um, as someone who was raised by my grandmother, yeah. love and respect to my mom and my, my dad, but mm. at some point, as happens with many uh, African families yeah. and uh, a lot of families in this country, mom and dad don't you know, always stay together forever, ever. Yeah. So when mom and dad said goodbye to each other, we were now living with gran. Yeah. And when gran was raising me, she needed for me, culturally so, to be a child who is seen but not heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she was doing that out of love. Yeah. And she would worry when my natural self would come out. She'd be like, oh, this child is just going to be like <laughs> such an explosion on the world. I yeah. need to gather her, you yeah. know? And she always, we always laugh about it now. She's like, I, I remember the day you told me you got a job on radio. I was like, this trying to gather her thing is not going to work. Yeah. Saw my girl. Just yeah. saw, but now foundation, God. Because I think she was scared about going out into the world. She'd be like, <laughs> So she'd want you to pray and, you know, yeah. so you can go out into the world and conquer. But yeah, the first time I was in a radio studio was actually in primary school. Hey? Mm. You're making me remember things. No, actually. let's go for it. Let's go, go for to it. Let's go. Let's hey, go. Let's go for it. primary school. Hello, NPS. <laughs> Niggas and I got not side. I want to look at the UNICEF child of day of the child of broadcasting something hey, hey. Um, where the UNICEF intentionally goes out and gets children onto the media. Okay. Whether it's television, radio, newspapers. I absolutely love that project. Yeah. And UNICEF, if you're, if you're watching, you need to call me or something because we need to talk. I, yeah. I think we're sleeping on this project. It's a powerful project. Definitely. It's really, really, really powerful. This thing of bringing African children's voices onto media platforms. Yeah. I'm going to challenge you as well for the date that thing. No, I'm Check easy. Date, thing. Date, I'm thing. easy. I'm easy. I'm easy. I'm easy. No, it's such a easy powerful medium to allow the African's child's voice to be heard. My goodness. Yeah. Even the sound of it alone, because sure. different experiences. I think I've only seen it outside of Botswana. The only Erra. thing that's celebrated a lot is mm. World Radio Day. Yes. Um, so you got into that competition. Yes. Yeah. Ible, thank you for affirming my suspicion that it's not being done as much as it no, should no, no, be. No, no, no. There's a lot of things. I mean, even hand washing yeah. is a big deal in the continent. Yeah. And we don't even think it's a big deal here yeah, until hey. we start realizing that a lot of these diseases come from mm. the fact that we don't even teach kids to wash their hands. Unless you're going to like an Islamic school where they teach you these things. No, those ones are fresh and so clean. Yeah, five times a day. <laughs> Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum, nigga. Wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Bon, I just started in Zinda. Karabu e loko primer. I get on one no such a pin. No, no. So you were able to get into this competition? Even like in it. Nyane is a competition. Eh, nele, nele. UNICEF ne, but I go 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 rebana, but I go buy a mo mo nidi a mo. 
so rena ko nna tsari bogote eh eita re matla ba ba go tsana mo re dionda re pikeleng bana ba lona ra ba tla bua ka nda di gore ke ne le ko nna tsari ne se go ben them no ne ke le ko nna tsari ra ba re ke nna go bontleng na that is a thing how we, a lot of us back then mm. even with yarona we thought maybe it was because people didn't hall at the public schools mm. i'm asking you because you were there mm. was it that was it ever that was it ever be- because they went trying to advertise it well of course it did come from st joseph's i can tell you i think they did mm. it for many different schools yeah. I, i i stand to be corrected but i believe we were mixed with other children from okay. other schools All right. so it just so happens that my experience was at northside and they said listen we're going to pick a couple of you yeah we know you guys you're our kids some of you are going to radio M. oh my gosh we're going to radio <laughs> yeah so they done picked wanyana go bontleng um and i was just i was assigned by my school for whatever reason they understood my personality mm. and i got to have a conversation with um the then minister of education no 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 the great lady who was our education minister mo le hatsen la botswana me wena go re ntsere mo celebrate just recently go re itile above 80 thank you dr chair peka sebe so it was it was it was it was, it was, it was such an honor like to sit as a kid in a um it was radio botswana studios back then can we do that again guys i can't believe it was a broadcaster also i guess my chapa's name can i just start again and just say my chapa <laughs> no we got it we don't have to start is well, it okay it's okay i handled myself properly no you did name. oh i think we saw in the chip <laughs> No, we didn't do it. 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 Hey, English, English. Hey, make it like Lina. Sorry, guys. No, we got it. We okay. got it. We're good. We're good, we're good, mama. We're good. Okay. Sorry, guys. Sorry, Mr. Director. No, I know I'm a nightmare. We're good. Um, but uh, bear with me. Um, thank you for the air conditioning. Yeah, we appreciate. Make up with your maker. Okay. Okay. So there I was in the radio. Bot- hey, so there I was in the radio. Bot- hey, hey, so there I was in the radio. Was on a studio with Dr. Hausiti Chepe. Mm. And she was then our Minister of Education. And I got to ask her questions. I can't remember what I asked her. Hey, I need to make friends at Radio Botswana because I know these guys' archives are like gangster. Yeah. So they might still still have the stuff yeah. they might still have this copy of this interview you mm. know so i got to have a conversation with her she was amazing she was regal she was a woman in botswana and i was like wow yeah. i am at my youngest years here's a woman at her accomplished years and she's amazing yeah. i think she sparked something in me about wanting to be an amazing woman as a botswana woman yeah. you know and yeah. then the radio studio was fascinating for me as this kid you know yeah. they took us through our paces they're like you're going to do this you're going to do that you're going to speak in here yeah. i was like oh this is so cool yeah. and then years <laughs> later now i'm listening to the dj freshers and the shakes the mixes and the dj sids so it's been together. a it's been a journey man mm. it's been a journey bro yeah it's been a journey that's dope dope so dope dope you asked about the audition i can't remember much except that there was a lot of us we were yeah. in a line and then we were put in front of people it was sort of like that fbi stuff in the movies you know where you can't see them but they can see you oh and God. then they just say number five talk they ask you questions and stuff like come that. on no yeah yeah it was done like that hey eh? um they should have had cameras they would have had such a Cool so what show. about training then? I mean, what okay, you we we established that you do ultimately yeah. get the job. Yeah, I want to talk about job. training. Yes. Honore, then where then do you get this training? Because I think then we are, they didn't have Owen Rampa. No, they didn't. He was still at RB2 back then. The, Hello yeah. Owen. So how then do you get the, the 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 skills how do you know i have to talk like this yeah we're 16 gone well they got an amazing team of people um who taught us about personality brands gabelo bins was part of that collective oh, okay um he hot came wire. in yeah and it was even before his hot wire days mm-hmm. he was he was still a, oh, a he public the, relations ninja he was a uh, dubswana possibly he was like the the youngest when percy had just come back what 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 yeah. you know in botswana it's so easy to be a first Yes it is. We, there's many firsts. There's so many firsts and I'm we not trying to granted. say anything. We should celebrate that. We are a country of many firsts. Many firsts. Born Litsili. It's true. So uh, Hello, yeah. hello Teboro Litsile. Litsile Teboro so proud of you. But then Rebins like he used to come through to the radio station when yeah, I was there. Yeah, he was awesome. Well. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he's been doing mm, that for years. He, he was part of me. the original team that trained us. Um, you know, Mike Proctor was there, Dumi Lopang was there, Percy Raditladi took this thing so seriously. He brought the best of the best from around, around the world. Mm-hmm. I think it was Zadig region situations, guys from South Africa. Yeah. Um, you know, they gave us the technical side of things. We would put in intensive training. Yeah. Um, I would come, you know, after after classes, I would come with my backpack and my uniform and we'd go through pace 
courses. Mm. We'd be taught so many different things about, you know, microphone etiquette and such and such. We had a couple of months before we went live, <laughs> which is why I always start my story about Yarn FM from 99 mm-hmm. because Yarn FM's official first birthday is in 2000. Mm-hmm. But the truth is the work started in 99 at yeah. Grand Palm yeah. um, before Yarn FM became the Red Hot Building. It was a hotel room. Yeah. So this this has taken me back, actually. Really. <laughs> All right, what's going on here? Hello, stay well. <laughs> <laughs> so with you so, yeah. now ultimately getting in this lineup here are all these guys because it's not like I'm trying to fast track because the FM is really oh, not the like end all and be all. So well. I'm Let trying to good. get us. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you are working with loose, but the. Uh, Mm. This is royalty as far as like BW broadcasting it's is, true. is, is concerned. It's true. First generation Boy, radio royalty. Boy, Robbie Rob. Um, how Titch Matez. Hello, Titch. I'll be know, doing this a lot. So how then do you get placed in, was it a mid-morning show? I and it started, was the, my first show was on the weekend. It was on the Lieutenant. weekend first. Eh? We had Saturday's show with Lieutenant. That yeah. was our first show together. And then very quickly, Lieutenant gravitated towards another slot. Eh. And they decided, no, this crazy kid is actually ready to, um, you know, her handle thing. her own show. Yeah. I really, I can't explain to you, Tato, mm. how much appreciation. Oh my God, I'm so not going to cry. My eyelash mm. glue cannot <laughs> handle it. Um, <laughs> Renaviv, get ready. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Tissue that, no, but um, I, I have intense appreciation for the visionary that was Pasi Raditladi. Mm. And for the guys that he built around him. I'm yeah. so proud of him for, for, for picking the right friends. Yeah. Because this was a, a bunch of friends. This yeah. was a bunch of friends who believed in one friend's vision. Yeah. And it matched with all their visions and their it's desires amazing. and their intentions. Yeah. I mean, I still remember when Dumi was still driving a tiny little golf. He's yeah. like one of the richest men in this country. <laughs> Hello, Dumi. You know what I mean? So Why these guys, TV's on DSTV bro, now? These yeah. guys are, were in their 20s. They were visionary. They were excited. Oh, is this my tissue? Oh my God, your team is amazing. Now I'm going to (laughs) cry. I was holding the tears back because I was like, I don't want to stress no boy. But oh my God, let's get emotional. No, because like, if I I think about it uh, every now and then, Tato, I started my journey when I was a teenager. I'm 41 now. It's not a joke, guys. Like, I exist because certain people dared to take a chance on a kid yeah. from nowhere. I wasn't yeah. anybody special's kid. Yeah. I was just some kid from Bunting. Yeah. I, 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 I didn't roll like a Mepsida. 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 I feel you completely. So honestly, what about Reba? One day, get a boy, a boy, and it's a sente. Give at the international stage in one name at Tad. What about Talogania to Tota for real? Mehala Kisimola Hone, how put the castigate documenta. Kemaka footprint or Pesera did I do? Oh, um, Pila would tell. Yem. Hagizor get a whole level. I am Motomotone, and a killing one. I was yeah. difficult as a staff member. <laughs> When you look Very in difficult. hindsight, because none of the feel like oh, oh, somewhere the near about what's in your about, because like you know with Botswana, a lot of the things that when it comes to like talent based stuff, you know they were tough for, on us, but they were for some amazing. reason it always seems like it's never just about the talent, you know. Yeah. It's like sometimes where people are like the most talented people, they are not the ones that come out in the forefront a lot of the time. I mean, I'm not saying no, Luzbo right. and Robin yeah, were not talented, right. but like you had a special talent. I so still do. When you you still do, but yeah. in that context, I agree. Like, oh, no, this you kid, there. man, there's yeah. something there, yeah. So why do you, th- in hindsight, because I think that the 2020, mm-hmm, about, mm-hmm, in mm-hmm. hindsight, why do you think you were never pushed forward like how a lot of these other niggas were? Um, two reasons, three reasons. My first reason would be patriarchy. We live in a patriarchal society. Niggas will be niggas. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't fall asleep on that. I will MC with a guy and I will have more expenses because my dress is more expensive, my hairstyle is more expensive, my makeup is more expensive. They don't do makeup. But the guy is still going to get paid five times more than Meniza. At the same event. So this country is quite patriarchal. Another reason why this mind shift excites me, I'd like us to see the balance. Yeah. Love what the president is doing leading the pack because yeah. he's positioning women in interesting places. Yeah. We love to see it. Um, but yeah, I think it was a patriarchy issue, number one. Mm-hmm. We naturally are more comfortable pushing men than women in any situation. Give me any corporate. We are more inclined to push the man than the woman with equal experience. Mm. Give me any industry, be it entertainment, sports, Freaking government, yeah. corporate, whatever. Well, in Botswana right now, government. I'm like, I really, really try. I love it. I I'm, I'm so excited. Yeah. I can call out so many different women that I'm so excited to see where they are. Yeah. Um. But yeah. So I think that was the number one. Is mm. 
it wasn't an intentional thing. It was just, we are used to pushing men more than women. Mm -hmm. It was just a natural reaction. I don't think these guys realized just how huge this thing that they were doing is. Yeah. They just wanted to honor an intention and, and, and to create a paradigm shift. Mm. But they didn't realize how powerful how huge like it could be do yeah, you know yeah, yeah. the Yarn FM story deserves a Netflix documentary yeah, I'm not even kidding yeah. uh, Netflix you must call me about that because yeah my, <laughs> my family might forget to call me <laughs> call me for the real story so why number one was patriarchy and i will not blame that it was a it wasn't we are now going to do the different thing no it was just this is how we are and then the other thing i think was because i was so young yeah um, I don't think there's ever been a 16-year-old on radio broadcasting in this country. No. Nah. I think Kosi was 19 yeah, or something. Yeah, was 19. I How, was you so can't be at 16. Yeah, bro. I, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's the kill. Okay. <laughs> what you said, bro. I was a so play. young, you know, so yeah. I, I, I don't think guys really knew what was happening as well. And by the time they realized there was true talent, it was a fear thing. I honestly believe it was a fear thing. Scared of who? Sometimes when we hold talent, we, we try and... We might get scared of what it can become if it is not gathered. You can't just throw a lion into an open plane with people. You must put it in a cage first. Why not? Uh, let it get used to the certain way of things. Okay, I have this. Hey, champagne. No. But you know what I think? I think a lot of us. <laughs> my, my, my thing is. <laughs> my thing is, I think Batwana are always just afraid of things that they don't understand. Yes. And a lot of the time, they, they tend to say, effort to something that they don't understand instead yeah. of trying to at least understand it or highly single they'd rather want to yes, a yeah, because yeah. it's completely something completely different I see so I, I really want to get into that because this is a trend throughout your whole radio career it is but you know i feel like i'm partly to blame honestly this is what i'm asking you or in hindsight why yeah, do you I'm think it is were you hard to work with though <laughs> i honestly believe sometimes i feel like i'm to blame for this the way things some some things are on radio broadcasting because i was like the at the beginning with yeah. the blueprint with regards to women on broadcasting in private radio broadcasting at least yeah. and younger women you know yeah, younger women um yeah. Because I think Yaruna FM actually recognized what they had in me. Yeah. What they didn't account for was my departure before their grand plan. So I think one of their mistakes maybe would have been, oh, we should have briefed her or her family. Listen, this is our bigger picture. For you. So that we could understand it's more than just, oh, Jazz has enough money to buy toiletries and, yeah. you know, do whatever. I yeah. feel like there could have been more of, of an intentional investment. Was in there the conversation future. though? I don't remember any conversations. I think it was a job. So what, it was a job. I was it? nurtured and it was a job and yeah. my parents weren't hovering over my job. They were just mm. like, we're so happy for you. Do You've you got think? some independence and my family was, you know, uh, we, we were not rich people anyway. Yeah. So it was nice. Or, okay. At least the mimi and okra we take a lesson. What is this? Eh, come on. So I was in a walk on a good thing. Yeah. Why? But me, I like to hear a lot from five. But I remember when I was in the bank. Yeah. Bankana ba ho ba skolong. Yeah. Eh, ra ho itumela gore o bone tiro aga go bone kgwebo. Mmehela marokopa wo go tsena skolo, gore mento a botsana o buletse gore le skolong. Eh, tiro e ha go tla itlhela. Ha e lore ke aga go enetswe ke modimo tla itlhela. So mena ke fela gore as a child e ne ke under pressure wa bona because family was telling me they were not asking me. Wa bona it was a family meeting to instruct me, not to engage with me. Um I feel okay. like that could have been an opportunity maybe if Yaron FM had a relationship with my parents as a prodigy because I think I was a you are a child prodigy no you are a child prodigy so I think maybe if my family had communicated with the Yarn FM team something could have been arranged guys we didn't have public relations in Botswana yeah. I was under pressure to go study PR because I wanted to do something that was related to what I discovered I love which was mm. the art of communicating with people mm. so something could have been done but I've come to learn to not live in regrets hey. I think everything was meant to happen the way it did yeah. Which is why I said to you earlier, 
it's a privilege to be alive to see different stages yeah. because it gives us an opportunity some of us who feel things could have been done better mm. to be able to guide be whether we're guiding talent or we're guiding talent management yeah. we've been there from Fanduga af so yeah. while we are here and you don't have to to buy people to talk to us yeah. reach out to us so we can advise <laughs> about how it can be done better for the other children um, why bon? i want to yeah. then get to Honor, okay then you go to cape town yes and oh then God. we're okay and Woo, then Cape Town. <laughs> <laughs> my god hello Cape Town. <laughs> you want to tell us a little Love bit about so much. how you, you know the Giselle or Adile Mimi that left Gabs you know goes to Cape Town uh, what came back <laughs> it was really tough because you see when I had to tell my friends at my employer my then employer that I'm leaving I feel like I feel like they felt I let them down because they were building a super team. So you I can really imagine. want to get into that because Dr. Ella, yeah. how are you supposed, are you telepathic? How I'm are you not. supposed to know no, all No, I this? think that's this where they a, dropped the ball. I'm I think, I think them and my parents dropped the ball. In fact, I, you know, they could have done, you know, they could have reached out. Yeah, they could have said something. Maybe they didn't know. Maybe they didn't know how big this thing was. You know, they were also dealing with, you know, the thing about being a frontier trailblazer. Trailblazer. How na path? That's why I'm not talking about Brazil. I'm talking about Hopola. Yes. I'm talking about Hopola. Yes. Me. They were so young. They were in their twenties. Okay. You know what I mean? And it wasn't all that bad because mm. I'm I'm in my forties and I'm still in the same industry. Yeah, yeah. I still have a relationship with the microphone. Yeah, if it was such a horrible thing, I could have been so traumatized. I could have <laughs> Oh leave I me. I will anymore. be a banker. <laughs> what Giselle? I don't know her. I'm yeah, still that chick. Yeah, you know, so many years later. So it says something was done right. Yeah, they nurtured me. Unfortunately, I couldn't be there for the super team vision because I had to go. <laughs> <laughs> Family was like, Skolora, we're going to buy it. Before we go, uh, you, you thought you were being tricky by bringing your daughter into the set, but I'm still going to ask these damn questions. <laughs> so you, you went out with Brando. I thought you guys were going to be there forever. <laughs> Oh, he was such a gentleman. He was a, he was a lovely boyfriend. He was he was lovely. We were teenagers. We used to hide from our bosses because um, one time they caught us and they could see that you know we're holding hands and things and they sat us down and they gave us a lecture. What the hell? We want you guys to focus on your careers. Eh? We that just made the flames even worse. <laughs> Wes. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Just, yeah. Don't you think uh, about social media? How do you think life would have been though? Like, I'm so happy. If we I, had social I'm, media. I'm actually really glad my I'm career so was happy. was zero social media. I had to struggle through Idumela. Hey, hey. Okay. Man, I had you've to been a topic on Yeah, Idumela. I was a topic on Idumela when I was pregnant with So for those who don't know, Idumela <laughs> was a. Uh, well, it was pretty much a, a blog. It was so visionary. A blog site. I wonder who came up with that, eh? I don't know where Mutating is. I those guys is. are still in tech, man. <laughs> or at least have some money of some sort. Something. So, that, was that your only boyfriend when you were in the radio game? Or were who, guys Brando or the father of my kid? No, not the father of your kid. Brando. Brando. Yeah, or have I ever dated other Anyone industry when guys? Anyone when you were the it girl? Can I? No, Brando <laughs> was my person. It was just Brando. It so, was... where did Mshavo come from? He came in uh, when I went to join them at MAP. Uh -huh. Yeah. No, Hello, DJ Shaft. Hello, Shaft. So, when did he come? Why are we going? Why are we going? No. I don't know. No. So, next time I can say, I can run juice. It's my brother. So, no, I don't know. 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 I
na le DJ sha after tsa go padela go sekolong kwa eh ke tsena ke tswa ko maoka ke tswa ka si sekolo da eh ke thibela go sekolo sa how can you have that competition and then you got yourself the scholarships what oh, no mine wasn't a competition oh. it was just a scholarship It was just a scholarship. Okay. I had to write I had to write an entry exam and they were like, "Yeah, your mathematics was not good, but your English composition is so excellent. We'll give you a chance." Wow, mama. So, yeah. Busan used to be dope, man. Yeah, like Busan has, 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 has been trying for a long time to gently show the child what one me how how ka iteka ngwana ka re ta iteka but we need to do something about the instilling confidence in young people. In hey. Busan, our humility needs to be managed hey. our, our humility needs a revamp hey. we need to maintain it as a beautiful thing yeah. but it needs to be repackaged because we're not going to make it in the new world someone was mad at me for saying that humility is overrated especially when i was coming up a yeah. lot of the time but hey man you're so humble yeah no my god that you're so humble but then Every other person that's my friend that actually gets to succeed a lot of the time yeah. is someone who mixes that humility with a little bit of veganya no I want to get right and go no worry o gona go rare brazen are brazen you want to yeah you've got to, you've got to recognize how to yell it's very important yeah, because otherwise go to dirisiwa ka re kilo ra dirisiwa mo industry ne em so i want to go to Cape Town Okay. Because yeah no bone kwa se ano ngaker. Era. Eh was it the cause you wanted? Yes, with my absolute heart and soul. Hey. Um I never wanted to leave my job. I was I had a very difficult There was difficult, money. <laughs> yeah, no, I had a difficult I, it was also passion, hey. Hey, Kato. passion also. For me back then it wasn't really a money issue. I really didn't have that's why I feel like we we could have made better investments. Hey. Perhaps bringing financial advisors to come in and say, "Listen, young people, yeah. you're not going to be 16 forever. Mm. Um you're going to be 40 one day. Yeah. Imagine what you could do if you try and do this with your money yeah. as little as it was or whatever it could have been very helpful to get advisors to help us think about the future but we weren't thinking about that back then yeah. it was for me about the passion mm. it was for me about missing my show yeah. not getting a chance to have the camaraderie with my audience yeah. you know just that whole ritual of being in studio and having those three moments yeah I, I, that's what i missed the most desperately yeah so when i when it was very clear from my family's instructions that i don't have a choice mm. i decided well if i'm going to be forced to leave my job um if i'm going to go and study it has to be something that has that's going to contribute to me becoming better at my job yeah. so i already knew that my calling had something to do with communicating with people mm. i already knew that my calling had something to do with assisting people to understand each other better mm. so i did a bit of research and that's why i ended up not studying at ub i was really hoping ub would have something that has something to do with people i wish i had taken ibu do amanye ngwe tlangetsa wake mongwe le mong there's one humanities, humanities. i should have just done humanities you know that's one of the few things i used to think about when i was still living in regret mm. um but people I've, didn't like that um yeah. that course i get it yeah they did it because a lot of the time. like yeah. there's nothing i can do but yeah. i need to go so i'm gonna start with humanity yeah. because a lot of people oh, used to, to look down on it <laughs> looking back but niggas is how you're making money i mean shout out my humanities guys a lot of the guys who took like to any these courses like i i remember i regretted like the course that i ended up doing yeah because i really didn't like that shit it What was just because study? netani social sciences economics and ah. and and population studies so what the fuck but it's still it's still it's it's still dictated without you realizing it eh, no, into what you do now you have a little a, bit. an innate understanding of how to deal with different populations eh, hey demography huh? yeah. oh. see what you did there you see now so did you have masa before or after you went to cape town i had masa during cape town type of situation um she came in i think it was my third year of cape town mm -hmm. that's when i got pregnant and i was so excited i'd always wanted to be a young mom mm -hmm. i was helplessly in love with the guy that i was dating so it made perfect sense for us to have a kid yeah. but i think in retrospect what happened with us really it was just an age thing okay. you can imagine having started working when you were 16 i was already thinking like an adult yeah, you know yeah. at the age of 22 Yeah. But this guy had not started his own, had not started his first job. Yeah. I was already waitressing in between classes in Cape Town. This guy was like, "Listen, I'm here to study and that's what I'm doing." Yeah. He's making more money than I am actually, the funny part. Of <laughs> I think about that sometimes and I have such a It's laugh. Like you were so serious I back was so then. Focused, yeah. yeah. No, but then heartbreak came into it. But we did. <laughs> we're not going to dwell into that cuz he and I yeah. are homies. It's it's beautiful. I'm so grateful. Hello. Yeah. Uh, it's it's I'm really happy with how we found our pace and stuff. Everybody should just be peaceful. Mm. Peace is better than war guys you know but before there was war so yeah, how did you bad. find peace 
Um, it was a messy process. I first because had like to a lot of us. I mean, we had my here. Yeah. Uh, on the show, I'm um, I'm also one of those people who really want to understand how people the properly co-parent because like yeah. I stink. So uh, just for anyone else who's watching this thing, because a yeah. lot of entertainers, uh, this stuff is not unique to us. It's not. Um, even other human beings. I mean, mm. you know, mommy and daddy don't usually stick together. Yeah. And things happen. So how how then? Because it was fiery. It was like. Did you see that? Look at all. Let's see. It wasn't okay. It wasn't okay at all. It what was happened because you're close. To, yo, Ooh, my first expletive. It was. It was on, 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 no, on. So I'm action. sitting here and I'm happy that you know there's some camaraderie and like some peace mm. and whatever. Mm. Hindsight being 2020. No, 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 we're talking. Um, uh, yeah, we're good now, but it was fucking tough because <laughs> for some reason, and I think this is something that will be there, uh, you know, after most of us watching and <clears throat> on this show die, yeah. is the funny thing about relationships is when you come together, it's just the two of you, but when you fall apart, it's everybody <laughs> involved. Um, so there was a lot of pressures. Like I mentioned, you know, I had been working for many years. Mm. You know, he we were at different stages in life. And then when, you know, pregnancy happened, I was like, yay, mm. next stage of adulthood. And he's like, whoa, mm. you know. So we were at yeah, different places. Yeah, yeah. I had such high expectations for this guy. Yeah. Poor thing didn't go to school to be yeah. a husband. Because that was the next thing. It was like, imagine yeah. you're in your 20s and shit, she's pregnant. Now what's next? Marriage. Yeah. Like, yeah. what? I, yeah. I don't even know what I want to do when I finish school. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So I think for me, the greatest concerns were during the time that he was taken to process everything, mm. I had brutal realities. And those being. brutal realities didn't allow for me to have the luxury of retrospect. I had mm. to act on action. Like I had to act on the day, on site. Like mm. things were happening. Things I needed. Things need to be done. So we had challenges because of we were at different stages of our acceptance. Yeah. I was able to, you know, gently ease into parenthood a bit faster than he was. Mm. And I was frustrated when he wasn't able to catch up as fast as me. Yeah, I think... What could help? Because I think it's a really horrible situation that two people who started in a place of love end up in horrific war. Um, I think the best way to sort that is we just need to try and be there for the child. Once there is a child, guys, mm. let us adjust our lives. Yeah. Yeah to just accommodate this child. Yeah. And when that happens from both sides, you allow the other party to not be carrying double loads or triple loads. Uh, the person can have a mental fair chance also because yeah. you can lose your yeah, fucking you mind. I lost mind. my mind yeah. three times. Listen, Scott, like, mm. don't get it twisted. I'm a functioning maniac. Yeah. Okay. Um, I swear to God, like, I am one of the craziest people in this country, if not in the continent. Um, I just function very well yeah. because I had to learn how to to survive yeah and thank god my story is i'm supposed to overcome it and yes. tell my story yeah. i got to a point in my life where i thought you guys would learn from my passing mm. oh i'm still here okay so you've given me a platform that reminds me it's time to s tell your story mm. and, and and share how you have survived because that's why you're still living yeah i've died so many deaths i'm surprised i'm still here yeah. i even stopped being afraid of death because yeah. i've died so many times you know yeah. um so the issue is yeah but sadly Let's go to our mojolo abana mutlofu. Eh, ha le bona gore bana ba lona ba ba utlwana bana le ditsala. Get to know those children, get to know the family they come from. Mm. When there is a challenge, you don't necessarily have to bring children together with the objective of keeping them together yeah. but the mental health of both those children is very important understand both their perspectives extremely important because mm. sometimes when families when, when 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 couples break up especially when we're younger or before marriage the problem is parents don't get involved family doesn't get involved mm. nobody knows what the fuck has happened to the mental stability of the other person mm we all just move on. Yeah. And then society doesn't allow you as a woman to speak up because then you're a bitter baby mama. Yeah. You need to shut the fuck up and make it work. Yeah. Um, it's not the healthiest of things and I'm hoping one day we can kind of shift that, yeah. which is why I think it's important for us to consider just like checking on each other. Just make sure everybody's okay for the sake of the kid, hey? Yeah. For the sake of the kid. Because unfortunately, whoever you leave the child with, in some relationships, the child ends up with the father's family. Yeah. In some relationships, they end up with the mother's family. Whoever the child ends up with, if we're not 
taking care of the mental health of these people it is impacting the child mm. and the child doesn't deserve that yeah, because yeah. they could be carrying all of you the whole family line you and know? in the future and you that's really what we don't, don't realize know. about kids eh? uh, we spend Where a lot of time grow? watching <laughs> that's one thing I, i love telling my friends when we have challenges whether i'm advising a guy or a girl yeah. about baby daddy or baby mama issues i'm always like i promise you try and do the best thing for your child but don't stress too much you will have an opportunity to tell your child your side of the story and it's going to be okay yeah. like i mean my daughter and her dad have an amazing relationship yeah. i absolutely love it yeah. it's also something i thought i'd have to die before i get to witness so i yeah. enjoy being able to see this and i'm alive yeah. they have a beautiful relationship because he had a chance to tell him to tell her his side of the experience yeah. and the way i raised her was not oh fuck that guy yeah. you know it was yeah. just hey man i don't know what the fuck man i don't know, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck but you're gonna be all right. you, Yo, man, you beautiful <laughs> god love you i love you we gonna be all right we're gonna be you cool know? i don't know i don't want to say nothing i don't know about Are we got this though <laughs> so you know we kept a healthy window open for people will tell their own stories yeah. but man, I'm, and yes man, mm. right, <laughs> I love that, yes. so you know also i think maybe to my sisters because sometimes women you know the anger that we go through it's very validated but we do horrible things in this anger as a woman who struggled with you know my partner catching up with the story and yeah. and picking up the brunt of so many societal issues yeah. because of that um you know misbalance yeah. i get extremely angry and i i try not to get angry at anything because anger is so heavy <laughs> and it's so expensive <laughs> and i want to go to heaven and nobody got time for that do you know what i mean bro yeah. but what makes me extremely angry amongst few things is when a woman takes advantage of the absence of a father um to set personal scores that concerns me a lot because it really distorts the situation and it's one of the reasons why women are afraid to speak up because sometimes it's like you you know don't take advantage don't don't just try and make peace for the sake of the child, the child. guys just yeah. for the sake of the child it's okay you'll fall in love again <laughs> some of you will even have other children eh? just do each other a favor yeah. no matter how much that person pissed you off yeah If you have a child with someone, I beg you, do not try and torture them. Hey. For the sake of the children, okay? Mm. Do just find someone. Go to house with Tukubua Lena, but I'm not talking about Buana on your behalf. Tlokomela ngwana mmogo, cushion the child and give each other a chance to mentally recover. You know what? It's important like for us to have this conversation because like a lot of entertainers mm, hey, watch this show. No, no, no. No, 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 no you put me on because we like I say a lot of young people. Hey, na kana matata, hey, ke bona dimo arna botata re tsudo ka hateng ka hateng teng teng e re shapo some of these kids have that problem sentle tsana sentle tsana sentle tsana re tsana sentle o tsoro ha re ka tsana sentle ka imisa go bolana se ka ra jola wa pala ke ngala ka re e e e no re e bi e no he la yo he ha wa mpha di rules of regulation no ba e tsurke eh eh ke mo rata mo ma se mo stano ke mo rata thata wa e bona le ke mo ra <laughs> But, you know why like i think it's okay so we come back <laughs> we come back <laughs> It would have been worse. It would have been a problem. No, 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 no. 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 Okay, so Why wanna get ran? Go ha go batlere a re se ka ra jampelana guys. Hela ka nne go le mona thare simola na tota ke a eletsa in in my life. Yes. I had yeah. a dream like Martin Luther. Yes, mama. One to let me know. Na tota to roya me hela ke gore ke kopa re mo botswana re ka simola ka botswana ma ha tshameng go batla catch up ne. Yeah. Marna ke eletsa re mo bi dubs. Ha re ka iteka ba ga etso ya ka ibile ta utuna re le re iteke go mind shift yana. Yeah. Nane ke re le ka go mind shift mo mojolong wa bana. Serious. Ha ha. Serious. Gore ha o jwala le ngwana ba tho ha le simolla mona tswa mojolo. 
kaogana nka kagiso i tekeng hela go kaogana nka kagiso because unfortunately ha gona khotea mo jolo a ke re gona le khotea le nyalo ha le nyala na go ke gone kwa eleng gore le bitsa setshaba le bitsa le molao gore eh me ha re ka kaogana re tla le bile tsa ditoto tsa rona mo mo jolo nga go ana lo rra ra itseba tshebela let me tell you something yana a ko re tsa neng sentle ka gore ha gona khotla ya mo jolo what i know about mm. like us especially majita I don't know about women mm. because I'm going to put you also on uh, on the spot here or we never break up. Majita ba nke ba ko motong ya la ba ita rangwa na mora arbo. Arbitral. You know I I've seen I've most men don't some most, men I've been dumb. You been dumb? dumb. Or are yeah. you at all? I've been blue ticked, dumb. No, there's a difference between blue ticking and telling someone, "Yo, let's stop doing this thing." I hey, think there's not a lot It's of that enough. going on and including okay to do that but libo me em my sisters em. i think a lot of them don't break up and that's why these niggas are walking around with the idea that mm. maybe lentsele mo go abona ke rayang and then ba itsela ditshwetso which is not right at all but i'm also saying on or har heta let's have a moment where we say both of us mm. were born i don't think this Are is working chase. out let's not cheat on each other let's not blue tick Are each other well. Arbolela ne strida oh, no official ne gore we on fetu i can't do this anymore tota wa bo ya khaitse dia ke because go mpeno na khanye ya gore yanong re se kara ra khaogana that's why ya no na yanong ke tlebe ke tshwara brazen ka ha ke re o ka yano ra hetsa ka ha o bo ke tlhela le brazen o bo re na ke yano ke a chitiwa bla bla go nna messy go nna very very messy so to be honest with you i feel like this dream of mine of us taking better you know being nicer to each other in breakups it could be helped by like spiritual conscious consciousness okay because when you think about relationships beyond the physical you're literally spending time with someone in their bloodline and do you not want to part peacefully so that you can go and seek elsewhere what you seek and have a peaceful life so tlogile bana ba ba go tshoreka dipelo ra na ha go nketle ke akanya gore boele ko bogwera le bojale to be honest because uh di khantse o di ka di ka tsenya semoya mo di khanyentsa mo jolo wa bona go ngwa ha re ka lebela gore go mo go spiritual ga se le nyalo ya la le spiritual kana kana mo jolo lo no ritual <laughs> Tlhola wa ba eh fuck you fuck off get out of my fucking house the emotion dia tlhola la betsana ka moso mongwe o stabile o mongwe ke mathata o mongwe a drunk go fucking a re tsana ne sentle a re tsana ne sentle hela ka ne re tsana sentle re simola a re tsana ne sentle otherwise a re skara jo a re skara jo la re betsho le i'm going to take you back to you hey don't worry guys it's okay because like at least we should get i for o to say bana bang gore ba tlhalaganya gore they're not alone they're not alone ka ba how damn pure botshologa bo hele it's not over you can still live But like just but I want to get back to being serious about it because like we are laughing now because like you're older I mean I remember I remember we were doing this um Hubiranga Stanford University We used to work together with um Ivy League Hey do you want to say serious so you want to say December when so the World AIDS Day so we used to do a lecture for Stanford University and hey. a lot of it had to do with you know our our experiences especially I hope we got to name do about World AIDS Day um yeah. you know I don't know do you want to talk a little bit about that honor how you got into working with Stanford University yeah. and also sharing experience on a lecture that happens you know recurring until we started asking for more money yeah <laughs> you just reminded me something and now you're making me miss you even more because you know i i love you so much we don't love spend too, enough mama. time together no, honestly no, but it's fine i'm not even stressed i'm not stressed everything at its own time my point is when you bring up the stanford university assignment you remind me that 
that one of the things that spoiled me when it comes to our relationship um. was I knew even if I don't see you for 12 months, <laughs> 11 months, <laughs> once a month, once a year, I'm going to We're see going you. We're going to be together. We're going to be in a um. hotel room talking to Americans <laughs> in the middle of the night, <laughs> telling them what it's like to live in Botswana. Um. What made me proud of that assignment, Scar, is we brought our country to 3D life. Um, our country was not just a statistic of a country that has an HIV and AIDS problem. Um, we were bringing it to 3D color. We were telling uh, you about the lifestyles of us. We were telling you about you know, our culture and how we've assimilated our culture into modern society um, and some of the challenges that we face real to real on site in Botswana and I think we did a tremendous job no doubt um, Shout it's, out it's Pia, a shame man. there was no recordings but maybe it's a good thing mm. I don't know you know eh, let those guys tell you the stories but I, um. we, we did you proud BW you so proud of us um, basically awesome. how I got involved in that scar is somebody reached out to me at Stepping Stones mm. and asked me to lend my voice to the recording of an educational animation that mm. they were doing. Um, the intention of the animation was to educate young people on HIV and AIDS, mm. um, to demystify the doctor's visit, mm. and to help them appreciate the kind of conversations they're most likely going to have with the doctor, and also, of course, to give them the right information. Yeah. That's what we were doing. We were just on a little bad route to sing it. Like I don't know, Nikilo. Nikilo, Salena. She's amazing with this. What the hell? Man, I was born to do this thing. Come like, on now. It's a God thing. It's so that's what we I were doing. <laughs> that's amazing. That's like, what but, we're doing, bro. We're yeah, bringing it yeah. to life yeah. firsthand, you know, and telling a bit about our own stories. So I, I started that relationship from the voiceover, yeah, the animation. Emma, and then the after doctor. that, era, and Emma. I was the doctor. I still have some DVDs in my store. If you want one, <laughs> drop a like on the page, you know. No doubt. Hey, just go buy DVD there. <laughs> anyway, um... Eh, no, really good. Mom, so record the animation. Really, the papaya educate about to get HIV and AIDS. Da, and then there was this amazing woman, um, Doctor Soka, yeah. from Teach AIDS. Hi, Pia. Yeah, and she reached out to us. She's like, "Yo, these guys have been watching these videos, and you know, my students know I'm working with these interesting people who are working in the creative sector. The creative sector is the pulse of any society. Yeah. We all know that because we reflect." the lives of our our, our people mm. you know when you write these amazing songs that you perform you mm. know you're, you're reflecting the lives you're an artist artists that's what we do we reflect lives so she wanted us to bring these stories to life and mm. tell people more about Botswana and I was so nervous I thought we had to go through some vetting processes <laughs> I thought we'd have to get some education but it was an incredible experience it was amazing we did it for I think about three four years Emma, Emma. And they gave us certificates at the end. I still have my certificate. Do you still have yours? No, I don't know where it is. <laughs> Stanford, what, what? But like, Let's I, go I, frame I, them both together, friend, because hey. I never got to frame mine with a nice glass. I think it broke or something. No, I just wanted people to know that we, we, we are Ivy League. Yeah, it was incredible. We stuff. have given our voice for free. For me, what drove me was, I didn't mind, like what I liked was when we were able to put budget into making a, a more comfortable space for us to do Emma, that Emma. because it was at strange times because of time differences. Emma. But I never wanted like cold hard cash from it Dem. that was not a project for me Dem. that I was looking at as money for me it was a legacy thing Dem. it was you we have the capability to to, to do this you want to educate our people and people of our people Dem. let's do it let's make it happen you know what I mean I'm going to come back to the radio stuff as well let's do it um, because now you know you get to Gabs FM and Gabs FM takes you in. Hello, and then, Gabs FM you know and I, I loved what you were doing at Gabs FM but just to make a long story short what the hell, Jazz? On, off, on, off. I'm, I'm starting to see. They were scared of me. They didn't know what to do with me. I was this lioness. And they were like, oh my God, if we give her too much you, freedom. Are you hard to work she with? She will though, be mama? an atomic bomb. Are you hard to work with? I don't think so. Kato, the day I become a diva, what are people going to do? I don't know what they're going to do. If they have do. a problem with me today, <laughs> what are they going to do? What was the situation with Gabs? Because the time <clears> I thought that was a perfect fit, I thought you had finally found a home because of whatever situation with Yarn FM it was, we're done with that. You know, you had Gabs FM, they give you these awkward times at first. Um, I wasn't messing with those times. And then they started being a little bit of, um, I think, Nava, Wobwagape. What's Kati? Who's all one time? Yeah. I really want the truth, Jazz. No, Gabs FM, like, um, yeah, it was it was a tough experience. But you I'll did stick, breakfast as well. I'll say, yeah, I've done I've done almost everything at Gabs FM. I, you know, 
shout out to Kenneth Mwing. He tried with talent management. I think there was just so many things happening in the background in Gabs FM that it was not supporting the magic that was happening in studio. There was a gener- there was a there was a season in this beautiful company's um, growth where there was just too much happening in the background that was affecting the magic that, that was what, being created. So that magic <clears throat> was affected when it shouldn't have been. Uh-huh. You know, uh, yeah, I think it was boardroom stuff, man. I mean, I remember you were talking with Tula the other day, mm. Petula. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum, Mrs. <laughs> Al-Kindi. Um, and you guys were talking about how, you know, back in our day, the sales department were the real superstars. Yes. We were hired help, man. Yes, but that's what we I was saying. The, she she didn't want to we say it. the but donkeys on the cart. I think radio stations. Did I just say that? Yo. Radio stations go but into the sales true. office. The stars are in the sales office. Yeah, Them niggas. No, 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 To this day still. That's why there was a lot of things happening in the background that shouldn't have been happening because they were affecting the quality of talent. Um, balanced na na i feel i was a casualty of the lack of management uh, of the lack of talent management yeah. the lack of sufficient talent management you don't lose a star player yeah. unless you're not managing your shit properly um. yeah you must recognize the star player is a star player yeah. the brand the housing brand is yeah. a house is, is a star is a star brand um. how do these two coexist um. So okay. No, I need, I need, I need you to help me. No, I need you to help me with this because I want to understand Honor. Okay, so what's it gonna take for talent um to be managed properly in Botswana? Does it need people like you and myself to stop so that we become management? Because there wasn't anyone before us who experienced these highs. Yes, I think I think uh, former talent as management is a possible solution. Um, I've enjoyed watching it with some of the uh, personalities that that I've seen taking places in management in private radio broadcasting in this country. I think there's there's a pos- there's a potential there. You got some examples. I want I want I want. I don't names. want to say any names in case they disappoint names. me and embarrass me. Nah, you know? let's put pressure uh, on them now. They're doing well. We might as well shout them out. <laughs> but Duma FM is doing amazing. Okay, no, Duma, I'll bring files and receipts. I think Duma FM is doing really well. Okay, no, hundred thousand likes. No, we're coming, we're coming, we're coming. But I think Duma on FM is one. one of them. Hey, no, hey, hey, no, Duma yeah. FM. I like what they're doing at Duma FM. Yes, they're on the right track. Um, <laughs> yeah, they're on the right track. But my point is, I think, I think we need to just get to a point where we shouldn't be scared of good talent. We should not be scared of good talent. I would like to believe because I'm not involved in. in the insides of radio right now mm. i'd like to believe things are changing because when you look at the world no, when you look at the that. internet everybody is showing you what there's a coexistence if you can get the coexistence equation perfect you have in, no problems in business, yeah. you can even have a structure that has a uh, seasoned talent yeah. and new talent yeah. excellent harmony perfect yeah. balance learning from each other Nine, four, seven. these things can happen <laughs> yeah. in a creative sector that's the nice thing about the creative industry is the only place where we can make mankind's wishes come true yeah. because it's a theater it's a production we can't achieve these things in real life things yeah, are yeah. not perfect we're talking about relationships here we are happy when we're just the two of us <laughs> when we're breaking up it's the whole nation <laughs> you know what i mean who's the worst guy so the only place where we can actually achieve mankind's desires about how life should be is in the creative sector and mm. you can do that on radio yeah you know they should learn from what they've seen on the other radio stations the other television stations bonang mateba came to be taught she was a prophet mm. that is how i see her hello bonang <laughs> i'm your big sister but i recognize you yeah. as a prophet in our game honey yeah. because like yeah she came in and you know she really affected the polarity of how we were playing our game yeah. we didn't know we had to look nice yeah no i didn't know that i didn't know that <laughs> shit hey man i credit bonang and them like she taught me hey i must put lashes what for radio <laughs> 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 some of us used to sleep in the studio, wake up, do the radio, kids, get into a combi looking terrible. <laughs> Nobody give a fuck. I feel that completely. So, you know, prophets like Bobanan came to teach us, no, package yourself. You're in a powerful position. This yeah. is a powerful medium. Respect it. And she's a tremendous yeah. brand. Yeah. 
atomic yeah. yet there are certain brands that were able to find a harmony yeah. with her yeah. i think my beautiful country which i believe breeds brilliant beasts coach yeah. me on that yeah, Kato, yeah, botswana breeds brilliant beasts yeah. there's something about our blood there's something about our air there's yeah. something about our culture there is something about even the challenges of the system that nurtures us yeah. it creates brilliant beasts yeah. you don't need to even you know trust me on that yeah. just look at what Botswana are doing in, when they exit the atmosphere of BW mm. that mm. is when you will believe me when I say Botswana breeds brilliant beasts without a doubt all the, the time Sanjay. every single story always comes out all, all kinds of crazy I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna move on to your MC yeah, because hey. Hey, 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 but I think we I want to talk to you about uh MCing. I tried MCing at one point. Serious? But, yeah, I, I did miss Botswana. Oh um and I was just nervous wreck. But uh, I think it was the which one was it? I well I forget, but like one of them. So I I didn't want to get into your nor do you think there is a difference between MCing, it's a corporate lead MC it's at a gig. Do you 100%. think one can be, you know, okay, break it down for me from your eyes because you're deeply entrenched in the game. What is the difference between Motui Pizza and MC Kwa Motui Pizza? Except for the can you feel it? But what is the, the, the core difference? Okay. Um, I think the core difference between, say, uh, a festival MC. Yeah, and excuse me a more high level event mc i think the difference is what comes out of your mouth okay that's it okay otherwise the same principles must apply to both the festival mc and the high level mc okay number one you must have a respect for your audience there is a bunch of people who did not come because they were invited by you. Mm. There is a bunch of people who came because of a bigger name than you. Mm. There is a bunch of people who came because of a bigger reason than what you are wearing. Yeah. You need to honor these people, whether they be a bunch of guys who have been drinking more than me today on this show. And I'm very, I've been drinking. <laughs> <laughs> so whether, whether you have a hundred me's in the audience yeah. or you have people who have just had coffee and breakfast yeah. in the audience, you need to honor those people. All of them. Yeah. That is why I say the principles ac go across. Yeah. The key issue is the differences in what comes out of your mouth. Yeah. Um, how you address the crowd but you still need to be very calculated mm. i think that is what my children do not understand yeah. and it's okay guys i have had many insecurities as the mother of mcs and yes i yes. claim that i am yeah. the mother of mcs in this country no doubt challenge me and i will explain it with no broken mm. english and pauses Yay. <laughs> <One tall. laughs> Mare, i must apologize because i've been an absent parent Mine. yes so, you're in and you're uh, because of my own insecurities i didn't know i was a mother <laughs> of a whole industry. i was stressed i was believed Leaving the things that the world was telling me. You, you know, know what I love shit, is that now you know? started accepting it because Tata Hela. I, I at some point I thought you really didn't believe it. Yeah, I didn't, babe. It took me a long time to believe. That's another thing about my story. Mm. I was a lot of things, but I didn't know what I was doing. Yeah. But it was designed. There were certain people who recognized in my journey that they were scared of what I would become if I understood what I would become. Yeah. So they took a lot of time and energy to convince me I ain't shit. And they did such a good job. I believed it. Yeah. And it was so frustrating for people who would believe I was shit yeah. to try and tell me I am shit. It yeah. was such a fucking nightmare. So what's affirmation? Stay then? away what's from drugs. These chemicals. <laughs> Calls will was, kill you. Was, I survived because I didn't take any coke. <laughs> was it affirmation for you? I should be dead through was, that shit. Did you get, was it like a, a matter of affirmation? Like for any talented person, some people need to be affirmed so that at least, I guess, they start Yes, affirmation whatever. is very important. It's very important for us to tell people Who you are gifted, you for you? you're like, great. After, after your name, mm -hmm. I mean, you started very early. I mean, for me, like I rapped when I was early too. So yeah. I'm still rapping now. Yeah, but so I still have like my insecurities about like, yo, this, that, and the, the other. Yeah. So affirmation, I thought that. I think for me, it wasn't particularly a person. It wasn't really a moment. Well, well, I, get, I, I get my affirmation from clients, my friend. I get yeah. my affirmation from <laughs> clients and from audience. Okay. 
Um, and I can't say either or is more important. I think okay. both of them are extremely important. Right. My favorite moments are in the bathroom because, okay, one thing I can, if there's an important message, because I'm thinking, yeah, go no lea na jeze, mpweo ka ene lang, wana mungu o ling gifted, wui puta ngore, ene affirmation wa weza kai. You first have to honor your job very important mm. you have to honor that opportunity the minute you are gifted an opportunity where people say hello samamang we trust you come and stand in front of our stakeholders mm. <laughs> a little too seriously because sometimes like I think I go too deep I remember there was one event I emceed and I did what I thought was a beautiful introduction <laughs> of one of my favorite ministers you know I don't know much about her but yeah. I really like her I think she's really cool yeah. I did this intro I'm not going to say who she is my top favorite I can say who she is um. she's amazing I adore her oh my god uh, but my one of my other favorites um, um. she was like I did her intro and I thought this woman was going to go on stage and just say thank you very much MC. No, this woman got on stage and she was like, eh, I, I didn't get to see this introduction before it was released mm. here in this event. So I don't know where you got that information. But anyway, eh, ladies and gentlemen, do me lang. So I realized, oh, innocently, maybe I have said things that they didn't know were accessible to the public because they're on the internet and we go deep, we do research. Oh. So yeah, yeah, take your passion very seriously. Rather be too passionate than not too passionate. Oh, Now they know, hey, how is that jazz? <laughs> Don't give it too much time. Hey, we had two days before I tell you, MC, I was going to have a little research time in. So, Now we got to know who she is. Hey, Laura, uh, really? No, what did you say? Okay, no, I'm I like done. Her. I I'm think just, it was yeah. just, I think it was just, no, I'm not going to say who she is. Did you say I too much was, personal stuff or? No, it was nothing personal. I'm not personal. thinking you said anything personal. I don't do personal stuff. I'm yeah. not like, uh, you know, I want to get into comedy one day because I think I'm a funny motherfucker, naturally. <laughs> but no I what I do is I go deep professionally um, um, I go deep I, I honor the experience of the event what is this event about who is this event bringing together what is the what is the key message of this event yeah. anything that has to do anything to do with that yeah. I will highlight yeah. so if you as Minister Senane if we are here launching champagne yeah. okay yeah. and last week you were in Italy yeah. with the greatest champagne farmers the Prosecco one, yeah. I'm going to talk about that thing yes. even if you haven't put it there yeah. if the people you were meeting with have put it on the internet I'm going to find it yes. because I got deeper because we look we research uh -huh. mm. well, but no, so I, I don't know maybe she felt she didn't want people to say <laughs> I don't she know what that young woman was talking about <laughs> <laughs> I really thought that woman was going to invite me for coffee after that interview. Yeah. And I don't know what that But young lady is talking about. I will never forget. She was about. like, I don't know. And I was like, yo, they're going to government jobs. I didn't read it. <laughs> they're going to be like, don't call her. She goes too deep. Who? Who? Yeah. We thought I'm trying to imagine that moment for you also was it like cringe and stuff flying out of oh my word. It went over everybody else's head except top four people. Top four people being her two bosses <laughs> and me and my assistant who were like, e. What? What the? F that was a beautiful intro. And then I calculated. I was like, "Hey, okay, maybe I said something she didn't. She wasn't nah, ready for people to know about." Ma, Mister, na kita na ano mo hodi no girl. Hey, this uh, interview. I can't wait to see how it's going to be pronounced. No, it's going to be very, very dope. Can never swear like I can't jam on that. The girl can't let the Ronaldo camera open. Even before I even get. And it's her No, so ne ko kun ko safe mo kuma. So don't worry. It's just me and you. Hey, I want a camera. There's no one else. I want to get into um, before we get into the uh, yeah. awards. Um, the the radio mm -hmm. awards. So that is I know. Yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna calm down. We're gonna move on. Compelling calling. I want to get like um, two, uh, a top five from you of your favorite. Um, I I don't want to say events, but even companies or like. Your top five events that you've emceed at that you can think of right now. Oh, that's such a beautiful question. <laughs> God, I love that. I was so nervous. I was like, please don't ask me difficult questions. No, 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 I no, no. I love no. that. Calm down. Top five. Mm -hmm. um, number five has to be the first time ever that yeah. I emceed. Yeah. Uh, there was an alcoholic beverage called Fusion. Oh, Lord. Back in the day when I was young and out of kid and my mom, <laughs> some days, yeah. 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 Uh, that was the first time Lucica and I emceed. I was about 17. We were, you know, already in the throes of things as radio superstars. Yeah. And the radio station was starting to see the value 
in extending the experience for the listener in the studio yeah, to yeah. activations. The trial side, so yeah. here we are talking champagne yeah. in the studio. The audience is engaging. Yeah. How about we take that experience to this audience outside out the there. studio? No Mike, you are guy. Oh, sing out. Mike, I'm about to get around. I'm about to get around. Lady, 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 so, we're not talking about Ross Gatz. We're talking about no comedy. All right. Okay. So, no, we're not talking about that. 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 We're not talking Yeah. You know, I still have a picture somewhere in my storeroom of me and Lucica. Yeah. Um, in that moment, that was my first time to connect with my audience that I was used to see, to hearing but not seeing. Yeah. So that was the first time I was with a microphone and I could see my audience. Yeah. So that would be a perfect number. I five. can imagine that, man. Number um, four. Yeah. <laughs> number fizzle. <laughs> I was created in Botswana so that's because there are many guys don't think I'm super rich when I'm super rich welcome to my channel guys I'm here on the staircase I'm in the car with the sunroof but experiences are a lot okay so number five was the first time when I was about 17 and that was just an experience experience but we're just promoting a new alcohol okay mm -hmm. great number four event slash client yeah first national bank of botswana yeah um i have a dear friend of mine olivier pontu bonjour olivier uh, OP. mon ami <laughs> je t'aime merci how did you never teach me French? <laughs> OP, do you know my friend? You should have taught me French when we used to yeah. hang out. Do you know how much better I'd be at my job now? Plus I have this it. job that I do and there's so many French speaking people in my job, OP. Yeah, I think about you and I'm like, why didn't OP teach me how to parler? He's in Cape Town. I'd now, be cluttering with these people. I'd be like, Je peux donc, pas sûr. <laughs> now I have to go back to Alias. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So OP FNB slash OP slash FNB OP yeah. not Office of the President. OP uh, of the but Olivier Pontu, mm. uh, very dear friend of mine. Love him to bits. Big brother. We oui, we oui. taught me so much. Uh, I survived because of the wisdom this man has taught me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So he challenged me. He was like, Hey, just eat. <laughs> 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 I'm not gonna do OP. We do that <laughs> no, 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 no. And my lashes are kind of for those who don't even know, like the <laughs> Black Label, Lebo, Monate Sukiri, yeah. all the big festivals oh, in BW, legend. to Shaggy, to Eve. That's OP. Do you know in our country, every now and then we have um, these awards? I think they're the President's Awards mm. or the Presidential Honors. No, they stop making to, them the, the president's award. Well, give the honor to the 30th. Eh, something. Yeah, we need to give Olivier Pontu that because he was instrumental in creating an environment or an ecosystem. Yes, that's the English yeah, word, ecosystem. man. I don't know the French word. Forgive me, OP. <laughs> ecosystem. Je ne sais pas the French word for ecosystem. <laughs> but, you know, he created, he stimulated an, a beautiful ecosystem yes. that a lot of us are still thriving from. Yes. What that yeah. man did in this country should not be just left to conversation and cool places he needs to be given his star he, him and his wife and his kids yeah, need man. to come in he needs to get his star awesome don't stuff. ever put me in government because that will be my first mandate yeah, man. um, <laughs> so fnb yeah, is so number four fnb is number four because yeah, fnb is where now i became gathered that's yeah, where now i started honing my craft yeah from the FNB staff dinners. Mm -hmm. These guys used to, you know, celebrate their staff. They really believed in celebrating their staff and, you know, rewarding outstanding employees yeah. every year. And they would go crazy on it, you mm. know? Good places, gorgeous places. Yeah. And what I found it fascinating about it was it was an internal event, you yeah. know? Most organizations go really big on budget yeah. when they have external stakeholders. Yeah. Guys, they're trying to impress yeah. what we're doing with your money. Yeah. We take you so seriously. We've got 
Beyonce here. Yes. Hey. But the internal stuff, it's a workshop. Mm. It's just okay. Biscuits, Everyone is holding a little notepad. More, lemon cream. <laughs> India means. Bye bye. Take a six pack, go home. Yeah. <laughs> but F&B took it very seriously. Yeah, they ma. took their staff dinners like they were so huge. Yeah, you know? So they decided to take a chance on a girl like me because of OP. He yeah. was like, hey, my friend, I think you must try this MC thing. He basically forced me. Yeah, I fought him so hard, but yeah. he forced me. He said, listen, you speak good English. You connect with people. Mm. You're comfortable in your own home language. You need to do this thing. Get over yourself. So yeah. he did some tough love, and I thank him forever, the way I thank Percy Raditladi as well for seeing yeah. before I saw. Yeah, you know? Awesome stuff. So I, 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 I put it at number four because I did it for like five years onward. <laughs> the first person to knock me off my, my throne was uh, my darling. I love him so much. Yeah. <laughs> Who is this one? Yo, wana ramyo leno kila kubya mrejo. Penyo. Eh eh. Oh sorry Rocky. Khate mang ngathu. Lu ngwa mali. Kana ne ke mona, ne ke mona ha mali. Are simula ga pekha. No, we no, we read time edit, read time edit. Eh simula. We read. We read. All right, so. Ke go tshapa bore ba ba ro. Okay. Ile mo go lona bore. So we are number 3. Eh, number 3. Eh, my belly. Ke ntse go go number 4. Number 4. Ready to guy in ke FNB. Kana go gore number 4. The reason why I learned number 4 FNB because of their staff awards is because that's where I was nurtured as an MC properly. Go go fusion in there lona tsha go station in there. Eh, we go hey. FNB OP taught me how to take my gift and gather it. Yeah. Gore and be calculated about it. Yeah. He taught me how to be more eh skwaza thing. One ton. Em magata. Kabeza staff dinner ya FNB for 5 years and that thing kept me going. It taught me to believe in myself as an MC. I was always shocked every year yeah. when they were like, "Hey, come. We have another one." Hey. They could do whatever events Stuff party. Yeah. <laughs> awesome Once stuff. Once a year. Yeah. Oh, Mujimo Bitopo, God bless FNB. Steve Bugazu, before on yeah. MD, tell him, I'm going to go head of finance. <laughs> oh, Mujimo Bitopo. We saw FNB. I, can, I can't thank FNB enough. That's why when I started my company, I, I've got a tiny little company and I registered at FNB to say, just a way to say thank you for teaching um. me to believe in myself. Uh, yeah, so I learned how to believe in myself because I was under pressure. Yeah. Such a huge organization yeah. that takes its staff so seriously. Yeah. Is taking me so seriously? Yeah. What am I going to do this year That's to different. impress them from last year? Yeah. So that taught me the kind of way I operate. Yeah, or up one, every time. Yeah. One tall. Yeah, I get that. So I get that. five years, and I get that we mo 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 throwing kilung. Ah, kilung. I have to No, there's still time for other things. Lunga kapa ron na Andre Pizzi wizo kwa para abat sa na mo mo ko MC ng FNB awards because no kiri time like that. And he did a brilliant job. Awesome stuff. He, oh my God. So awesome that is my, my number four. Okay. Number three, Seychelles. Seychelles again, Lahati. Yes. Ooh. Okay. Uh, Seychelles and uh, the insurance sector. Okay. Because I emceed in the Seychelles because of the insurance sector. I was emceeing an event in Botswana <clears throat> for an insurance company. Mm -hmm. And they had their bosses from all over Africa. Yeah. And these guys were like, oh my gosh, the next event we do in the Seychelles, the Botswana chick must come MC for us. <laughs> yeah, the Botswana chick yeah. must. <laughs> it's like, yeah. So sure. these guys fucking flew me to Seychelles, man. I've been to the Seychelles, bro. <gasps> hey, don't know if you're looking for an ambassador. Uh, <laughs> been there already. Get along with the people. Very good. <laughs> they love you over there. <laughs> no, it was it was an experience. It was it was a it was it was an amazing experience, Tato, because mm. it was my first time to MC outside of my country soil. Yeah. I'd like to do more of it i think it's overdue but i needed to believe in my own self hey. take some time in botswana we take time it's brilliant beast because we take we don't yeah. even we are so amazing we don't even know we are amazing yeah by the time yeah. we realize we are amazing we are so amazing yeah. <laughs> and then you open up the world and then we compete with children who were taught they were amazing before they were even amazing so yeah. we are just even double amazing that's yeah. why i say brilliant beast so you yeah tell, Mama. <clears throat> the seychelles for me was an affirmation that somebody believes i i'm good enough to speak beyond for my people uh -huh. i was perfectly happy being honored to speak for my people uh -huh. i didn't know i could speak in other people's countries uh -huh. where there must be other talented children yeah. you know 
so yeah this insurance company hired me to go MC their conference in um, Seychelles they put me up in a hotel they flew me out there it was mm. beautiful I want to send myself back to the Seychelles yeah. for personal reasons just to experience it when I'm not working but yeah. Seychelles is my number three okay because it was my first time outside Botswana yeah hey. Um, number two would have to be Kasane. Yo. All right. Uh, Kasane in twofold. One time I emceed in Kasane for uh, the European Union. Mm-hmm. This was in 2006. Mm-hmm. Um, it was my first time emceeing in Kasane. And being an emcee that is based in Khaborone, it was just so beautiful to experience my country yeah. in a different place. Yeah. And unfortunately, because I don't come from money, yeah. I didn't have the privilege to go and experience places like Kasane. Yeah. If it was not for my job, for my God-given talent, no doubt, it would have taken... Every <laughs> I take it for granted because we tour. I wanna come music, and no. I realize, or if I didn't do rap music, I probably would have just stayed in my and my I don't know when it has in No, like you not Number one. Number one. <laughs> no, if it wasn't for these talents, the talent to tell the truth, talent, I wouldn't have gone. Mm. Play ni kipeki le play ni. He take it to buy sikile. Stimaji. Wa bona ke raya. Well, that one is another beef in one. Should have bought me a bike when I anyway. Ah, ra go rekela bike. Eh, I will take him by sikile. No, ra go rekela bike. Show ya go rekela bike sikile. It's it's very much. We can wrap it up just we want your number one. Yes, it's chaile tala me. But to go ba. Ha wa mputsa stase. Ne ha wa mputsa ke singile. Eh, eh, pace sikile ndake. Eh, eh. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Eh, o tsana leo. Get Pisces hey. land. What is your star sign? Cancerian. Cancerian. The still, mother I'm, of the astrology symbols. I'm waiting on number one Ere. before we get into the cancer. The Cancerian. Mm. Number one client. Can I just answer the counter down? Hey, right away. Chile bet. Number two, Nelly. Number two, Nelly. For two reasons, but can I just say the two reasons? This is the most fun I've had on the podcast, by the way. Have you, my darling? I feel like I'm being such a handful. Oh, my God. I'm so happy you think. Can I? Ever. Like, we're so relaxed. Like, um, no. Well, if you want to. We're going to have to ask you about it. You feel like I'm comfortable like it. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna so, have to ask him. You can hear it, and then we're gonna talk about. So number two, two um, um, <clears throat> eh, Kasane, it is good. You have another first time because it was in 2006. You see, the European Union. The minister has a trade. It's about to analyze. Let me go sign a contract with Nane. To Nane, I'm at that economic partnership agreement program. Kore EU le sana keba ikama kwenye rahui rahui lo better for. But to borrow now, but okay. Eh, rokana go rekisa na di lo di tuto mo kabo toka kusna stressi sinsi blind. Okay. But change chama la ba irang ba irang. So we keep picky wara or keep go MC ako signing ceremony. So that was huge for me because it was my first time to get involved in something that would contribute to my country's betterment. Mm. I was MCing, but it wasn't things to contribute to my country's betterment. Betterment, oh yes, that's how it is. So the reason why that is part of my number two of two in Kasane yep. is because many years later, I got a job from that MC job. Hey! And when these people hired me many, many, many years later, I guess it's a mess of calculator. More than 10 years later. Hey, I I to more than 10, 10 years later. I was like, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go to you are performing just for the artist i think just for the, the audience dance, no, eh. no 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 whether or not you want a job in the future because some of us are happy working the way we're working yeah and this job it suits me because it's part-time Definitely. right so it's not like the hey, come and do eight to five i can't i can't guys don't give me eight to five i can't i, I tried can't. i'm not that guy but this, 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 <laughs> this, you know this this project that i'm doing now is related to that job in 2006 these people referenced it they were like yo we remember you from 2006 bro wow so that was why it's one of my number two top two yeah Another number two. I can do two more numbers. Hey, two hey, hey, okay. two Kasanis in number two. Yes. Yes. The other number two was just before COVID to me, brother. Yeah. Hey. We needed all the funds we could get then. Yo, but it was okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've hit that before. It nearly fucked me up. 
2019. <sighs> I'm like thinking eh. about it right now, but I'm just like, no, let me not. Kana tato 2019 I thought I was dead. Like I thought it was all over for all of us. No, I think. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. 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 No, <laughs> Why one? Emma. Yeah. Stuck life. Because I know you know why. Like I'm, I'm actually getting the hit for myself because like I, I nearly kicked my ass once. I think my no, no, okay, wait, it, I'm waiting for you to for it to hit. You gotta give me your number one and then we get into it. Okay. No, no, no. Hey. No, no. <laughs> but this is like that Afro futurism shit I was saying, man. Okay, okay. But So this second part was courtesy of the Botswana Stock Exchange. Okay. Um, I, I, Damn. I'm forever grateful to the Botswana Stock Exchange. Tapelo and his team. Yeah. Hi, Tapelo at BSC. Yeah, Mr. Teole. Both the Tapelos, the female oh. one and the male one. Oh, I don't know a female one. You don't? I don't she is gorgeous and intelligent. Hey. She is like, it's just Botswana women. Mm, That's I'm blind. I need to come up with a phrase for Botswana women because I get a Botswana breeds brilliant beasts. Yeah, I just need a subsector for Botswana women. About what? I <sighs> love Botswana men. Yeah. Many people can attest to that yeah. <laughs> in different ways. But um, yeah, we need to accept that as a patriarchal country, it's so beautiful to see us embracing the power in our women. Definitely. Not being afraid. Mommy. We are not afraid of the power of our women. No, I celebrate um, our current president forever for that. I yeah. don't know a lot about politics, yeah. but as an, a grown woman in the world who looks at things deeply, yeah. I will always take away from his presidency yeah. the fact that he ushered an era in which Botswana was not afraid of her women's power. Yeah. Because for many years we've been afraid yeah. of what would happen if we gave our women so much power, so much power because yeah. our women were the ones who were preparing the men yeah. to go out and conquer yeah. our women were the ones who were carrying them feeding them yeah. loving them yeah. nurturing them such yeah. that they can go and conquer yeah. but the question was eh, but if we give them the power now what, what is going to be happening <laughs> so I love that we are living in an era where we are not afraid of Botswana women's power because Definitely. there is immense <coughs> power in our women definitely Pick up let us heal so that the, the power cannot yeah. be distorted by pain mm. because power with pain can cause chaos but let us continue on this very beautiful trajectory mm. so bse was hosting stock exchanges of africa okay. Yeah. Love BSE for daring because yeah, I know I'm not a conventional person because I follow my own tune, Tato. Yeah, yeah. I've never belonged to a clique that struggle that, that gives a problem sometimes in this industry. Yeah. If you don't belong to a clique, you're not drinking with the right people, you're not fucking the right people, yeah. you're not hearing the right stories, you're not yeah. living in the right neighborhood. Yeah. I am an anomaly in this industry. Definitely. And it's kind of weird that I'm exclaiming it now because Damn. I can no longer hide in plain sight after this. It's a whole enigma on its own. I don't know to is, yeah. Hey. You learn certain things about the situation. One time. Yeah. So um, I really appreciate them for daring yeah. of all the people because there's so many talented MCs mm. more polished than me. I don't know how to fashion <laughs> myself, guys. I... <laughs> No, I'm you say every single time I like, see you. I wear? Every time I, I see you, you look amazing on 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 those podiums. Yeah. They're always killing it. So, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, whatever you're doing, 
whatever you're doing continue to do it well tsa le bogana naka e go kile gana mathata tota di client tseng di ba gona re ba mpile tsa di job ba re majesty o a person tla no no it was good i appreciated that it was better than ma ngwana go ha a person eh ba bua mbu hand your back eh that's different yeah tswana can i please break a secret you can't talk behind a person's back it's impossible in this country ke go kopana le motho no ntsebelene yeah kuti bareng o sa itse gore kopana nako a sa itse gore kopana kae ka ena ena mpona gore kopana kae ke na ke bona sister se hela re kopana ho mo lining re ja dikhang sister se ba go tsholla story se tla ke re nole na ka ne go to tshaja 20000 ne go to tshaja 20000 bo saema ba duela 20000 ka pelo e tshu agents yo ne ntila re 5000 yeah so we need to stop this thing If there's anything I can do yeah. in a sober moment is guys stop thinking less about the industry. Yeah. Ba re bolella. I know everything. Yeah. Everybody knows everything. Go re hela eh o decide or act ya mba mba chaisa ba re fuck entertainment tikis o mogo yone ke a go rala badge ke a go berka 85. Ba mba re oh ba tsabe kalo okay so go re that's why na malatsing ha ke dira di voice over ke ba ke no go re le mphe madiaka. Yeah. Hala ke sna ho tsomo studio ke kopa madiame. No, bolela ng company go re ntse petty cash. Yeah. Eh madiaka ga he the petty cash because mo botswana you don't get paid every time your advert gets paid. Why is it ga to go mahasing ama go re wa thato? Because botswaka like, was supposed to be that for us. Eh that's nice. Can But the thing is that like for me because I thought it was just for art. No, the thing was it was supposed to be like that. Uh, initially when Cosmos was being put together, mm. things like that was supposed to go every time your voice airs, so it would just seem. But I get sort of the agreement that I love Cosbots because, like, I think they're doing amazing. They've enriched some amazing artists. I'm mm. so proud of the welfare. Well, they enriched the ones improved. that go knocking on that door. Yeah, I think maybe we need to look into voiceover artists Same. and how that works. Because I was shocked. I was yeah. shocked the first time I spoke to someone from South Africa, and they said to me, "What? How many ads?" You must be getting paid. Yeah. I'm like, "Hey, we get paid grandy. Thank you very much for your time. What's up, man?" But this is where I come in again and uh. about the power of the sales managers in BW um radios in that this is supposed to be out there. We're supposed to know what it, and this is where the ad agencies and the radio stations come together mm. to actually conspire against um artists and that they know that radio stations don't pay costbots. Yeah. They all cost bots a shitload of money. Yes, um advertising agencies also le bona ba itse gore ba tsentse re ba duela the artist ga te ke the voice over artist the publishing that thing. But it's something that I think we'll get into another time. I just want to get to We should not get tired nak. Ka ke motona ke kana ke mo in my 40s. Eh ke tla tsona ke gore ka tlotlo mo go ba cost bots. Emma. Ke go itirela eh ke go ira homework. O ba check wa bona. Emma. Gore ha ile gore go ntse yalo. Ke bankanye ka gore rona ba bona kana o itse gore ntse ntato ha o gola mo situation yo wa mo gela ndilo ka ha di ntseng ka teng. O hella o kana go tlolwa ke di phetogo. Ka gore o tlwetse ka ha semo se ntseng ka teng. For all menizer knows. Ka go ntse wa nna ya. Ke le malatsing ha di mantswa rona ita. Eh so ntse ro duya. Eh na ke tswa kona ko nyeleng gore. Le billboard I'm sure le billboard go tshwane tse gore be lo re ba tsoba duela. It's just because Like I say, I'm not gonna hate on Cosbots because the there are some good people in there, but yeah. the salary they lower by the duelo we can never compare to what they give artists. So, hey. so it then becomes, well, why did you form the office? Did you form the office? What did you take it to cook? Take it to the Oh, God. <laughs> so it's like they pay themselves more. No. Hey, would stop the show. I would. But would stop the show. I want. Like I want number. I want number one. Hey, so uh, number two, Nelione BSC, because both of those were in Kasane. Emma. I love Kasane so much. Hello, Kasane. Yo, yeah. I. I dream to own property in Kasane one day there's yeah. something very special about that place yeah, um yeah so i mc twice in Kasane and um inshallah i'll be mcing again in Kasane next month yeah, and i'm really excited about that so this 2019 one before i get to number one, yeah, um the 2019 one was super special because it was before we knew there would be covid uh-huh. and here we are in Kasane with stock exchanges from africa um african stock exchanges association asia yeah. hello everybody from asia <laughs> let's do it again <laughs> 
So yeah, um, <coughs> it was amazing because I got to MC the conference, not yeah. just like welcome dinner, open dinner, but I was part of the the conference the itself. Thing, you yeah, know, yeah. the various forum discussions, uh, panel discussions, and such. It was fucking amazing. Yeah. Um, because I was learning. You're learning at the same time. That's another thing. Yeah. You know, you yeah. you start off with just hired help to come mm. and fulfill a function, and then later you realize, hang on, there's things I can learn that yeah. can help me grow as, as someone who's operating in this country, yeah. as, as a potential economic driver. Because if I keep focused, one day I could this is for me impact to do. things, yeah. you yeah. know, hire people, yeah, yeah. teach people, <laughs> yeah. do things better, no represent doubt. BW. That yes, is ma. what I live for. Yeah, uh, 90% of my jobs, I take them because... I do it for my country. My, yeah. my love for my country, I express it. Every time you see me on the microphone as an MC, please know yeah. I'm not just doing it for my money. Yeah. Because half the time, guys, here's the thing. Most of them are high-level jobs. Mm. They're not high-paying jobs. Mm. Don't get it twisted. Yeah. Jobs come in different costs. You can get to a point where you know your own value mm. as, as a performer, as an MC. But some jobs come in different ways, man. I'm, I, I could get paid the same amount I got paid for being in, the, in Dubai mm. with the government. I could get paid the same amount being in Botswana for a three-hour event. But you don't look at, oh, I mean, I'm not going to do the mm. job because it's yeah. less 10 grand, less 20 <laughs> grand. No, 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 no. You must have a vision. Yeah. You must have a plan. What is your intention in this journey? Mm. So my thing, I, I uncomplicated for myself by yeah. saying, this is my love to mm. Botswana. Yeah. One day when I'm gone, other stories will come out. Mm. People will realize, fuck, it wasn't just glamour. Mm. This chick was actually putting her heart out for our country. Yeah. So it was beautiful meeting all these amazing, powerful people from across Africa. Yeah. Um, I got to meet the guys from the Nigerian Stock Exchange. Hello, everybody from Nigerian <laughs> Stock Exchange. Um, and these guys were like, snap, you need to come and MC our event next year. And That's the I was bag right with there. With my little team go. and we were connecting. Bro, before COVID. So oh. we were connecting. Hello, Gwen. Gwen was there. Love you, babe. Miss Congratulations. You. Gwen was there. Nick Bonte. Love you, my darling. You've learned so much and you yeah. make me so proud. Goosebumps upon my situation. Yeah. I've got PAs from here to there. I've yeah. had so many PAs. We had a <coughs> team, man. And yeah. all these young people and myself got to interact with such power yeah. that was holding, that is holding Botswana's economy, uh, yeah. Africa's economy yeah. in the palm of their hands. And <sighs> what I find is so interesting Scar is the more of these high level jobs I do, the more of these high level people that I meet, right up to the president's level, um, who I would love to have coffee with. Hey, yeah. Mr. President. Hello, Mr. President. <laughs> I would love coffee with you. Dude, just give me a moment to yeah, tell you man. what you've done for my career. Hey. Yeah. And also yeah. to let you know what's happening on the front line. Yeah. Because I think this man opens up the doors, but he doesn't know. I don't think he knows no, he doesn't get what it. happens once that door is open. Yeah. And there are things to be fixed. There are things to be tweaked mm. because we're on the right path. But there are things to be fixed because if they're not fixed, they will affect the path in yeah. a negative way. I'm concerned about that. Yeah. Somebody needs to talk to me before I die. Yeah. I don't want these things to, you know, I don't want to die with these things. Mm. And I, I, I love my country. Yeah. I do these jobs because I want to represent my country well. Good I things pop up, but then they are not maintained proper in, in a proper executed. way. Yeah. You know, we've always had a challenge in our country of implementation. Yeah. The word implementation is a sore word. For Botswana, because we have all these systems in place, but implementation used to be a challenge for us. I say used to because mm. now I work with international consultants yeah. who are in our country to implement mm. some of the international agreements that our country has with a variety of different people, okay. specifically in my regard for the European Union. I won't say too much. Um, I've been drinking. No, 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 no. But, <laughs> but hey, this is who I am, you know. Um, I do it for the love of my country. So, yeah, so it was amazing dope, serving dope, dope. my country and letting Africa know you've got heavyweights in Botswana. Yeah. You know, and we will honor our country well. You mm. know? So that was number two. That was number two. Who is number uh, where is 2006 it? and <laughs> My number one. Oh, forever, oh. <laughs> it's a young burp. Yeah. I say I did bubble. <laughs> Guadaka. <laughs> You're gonna end me. 
Urla, ¿qué te he hecho? Ay, güey, es que anda, I'm, I'm really leaking. Hey. <laughs> All right, number one. We got number one, Jess. Jesus. Oh, I'm probably going to cry about this one. Yeah. Who's number one? My number one is the inauguration of His Excellency Dr. Mukwesi Eric Gabizo Masisi in 2019. Word. I had just come back from Kasane. Um, and I remember being super broke yeah. in November, October, because mm. I was waiting for voiceover money. I was Ish. frustrated. I was like, what is happening? This hey, career. This hey, I wish I was more, I wish I had enough money to manage myself. Mm. Hey, social media, <laughs> be more visible. Yeah. Because game, you know, it's like, oh, yeah. To honor each event. Yeah. I don't have a brochure. I don't yeah. have a website. I'm only beginning to catch up with other children on social media. I'm yeah. nowhere near anybody's numbers. Yeah. After today, my friend, thank you. No, it's about to pop off. Oh, I think I'm <laughs> going to get like a couple more followers. Because that's currency now. <laughs> but I'm just this old woman from an old era who yeah. we're still wrapping our minds around the bigger media freedom. Yeah. There's so much freedom, we don't know what to do with it. It's too much Because we there. were nurtured and raised in confinement. Yeah. You can only talk about, don't talk about, only say this. Mm. How did I I can't. I've never been live. <laughs> but imagine, it should be easy for someone who's been live on radio. No, but it was confinement. Yeah, you would expect that we would enjoy because it and we would rush into the freedom. I've never gone especially live. without the freedom. It's yeah, a lot, eh? Yeah. I mean, I'm proud of you for even coming this direction. Given it's a lot. Being, it's like, yeah, okay, yeah. so I'm in control. Yeah. We can talk about what we want to talk about. You know what I mean? It's, it's, uh, what? It's, 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 we it's, have it's too so much freedom. Much freedom. Yeah. I'm, I'm still learning <laughs> how to ease myself into this freedom, yeah. right? Just so I was moment. frustrated. I was like, yo, there's this event coming up. I was lying in bed without a bra. Yeah. <laughs> Most likely on a Monday. <laughs> I was like, yo, there's this huge event. You see now, Jazz, the caliber you're at. Because mm. you can be very good at your game in Botswana, but your livelihood or mm. your lifestyle won't necessarily reflect that. Yeah. That is why I say we make brilliant beasts. The, mm. the, the, the conditions of this industry makes brilliant beasts. Yeah. You can be so good. Yeah. But because of certain circumstances, you may not be where you're supposed to be. Mm. But you're still so good. You're so good at what you do. So good. So good. So good. So good. Across the world, man. Yeah. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's So I, I was lying in bed. I was yeah. watching television like everybody else in this country. Yeah. And I was watching all the ads about this event. And I was like... Oh, how long is it going to take me to be visible enough to do an event like this? Because mm. I feel like I'm ready. Yeah. I feel I've I've gotten to the point in my game, in my craft, where I can handle an event like that. You're not already the president. But I knew... T- Come on. I was building up. Yeah. <laughs> So I was like, yo, anyway, let me just be on my bed, frustrated and wondering... I, mean, I don't have I don't have a card for a political party. Mm. I'm not connected. I'm not sleeping with anyone. How do I get there? <laughs> it was on a Wednesday. Yeah. Mark my words, yeah. my brother. It was on a Wednesday. Yeah. On the particular day when I was in bed. So it wasn't a Monday, but yeah. I didn't have my bra on because <laughs> I didn't have any jobs. I was just in my house. Just really maxi. Phone me, Bill. Hustlers, always keep your phone on. Let's go to the phone. Phone in the office. Moody Hustler. Let's go to my phone. True call. I'm going to go to the phone. 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 Damn. I'm going to go to the phone. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, a break. yeah, we have to take a break. She's got to cut. Cut, 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 cut. We've cut, we've cut. Hey. All right. Yeah. What is this? Uh, phone Bella. Hey, you Bella. Hi Andrew, <laughs> I, was on the, I was in bed when you called me in the afternoon. 
Eh ma ke ba kile la itso re tautona wa be wa ke re ka la botlhano. E re ra ke ntse ke le be TV. Eh eh emma eh ka ke ke ofisi ke tlo tla nthata ke tla se ke ke tsenge di story tse di. Eh ka di kwala mo buke. Save some for the book. About my life from 16 to 41 with microphone. No doubt. Longest consistent relationship in my life. Oh my god. Um So yeah they were like yeah english english diplomacy diplomacy so are you ready mm. hey, give me that job what time what e bar me bile ya ka re buelwa ne ka 11 yana eh rena le re hasa le ka 12 for but ba tona ba tle balleting it's our one of our biggest final rehearsals it before the situation so yeah. can you come i said no problem i didn't have a cent Ish. in my pocket i was frustrated and broke and i have just received a phone call that tells me the one event i was thinking i deserve to be part of this event but yeah. i'm so far i ha ke bonale gore o tsoreke ke compare le story sa ga jeso o bona na ko ene go te jeso na atsela mo tropeng yengwe ra bona le sister so mongwe ana ri ya 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 na ke a o tsena yang ga ke a khaba he na ha ke bose mamang ha ke bona le go bo kete kete he mara nka tshwara ke ha te le tsela la ga jeso e ra ke sha just at least go mo tshwara ato mongwe na pala mo sekareng gore ke mo mo a bone ba o ha lo re ha ke mo sister so na mo tshwara ka le tsela ke brazen ona pala mo Here I am faced with a situation where I'm shit broke, I'm frustrated as a creative in Botswana, but this president that's been talking about the creative industry that's been telling us he's not going to leave anyone behind. I just got a phone call from these people and they're like, "Oh, can you come and MC for this thing?" I'm like, "What?" Look at God, man. Hey, yo, 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 yo. We team o mo kholo mo diragatsi wa tsotlhe monei wa tsotlhe. Yes, var ma mister. Damn. Nyara ke be ke rehesaleng go tsa mail sentle la botlhano ra setla inauguration ya ga tautona ko UB auditorium ke be rakala le sogo khajwane somebody who i have admired since i was a child i didn't What? mention her name earlier ha ke bua ka bo eh eh shakes the mix bo fresh bo 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 cd ha ke a tsenya le sogo moteng we all grew up on le sogo the, the news whenever mm. she reads the news she mm. reminds me whenever i hear the news um read by le sogo and she still reads the news to yeah, this day hey to this day she's like station manager there but she still does the freaking news. <laughs> it's the passion like, bro, she's freaking amazing <laughs> hi boemo you're amazing you you know you're my favorite <laughs> le sogo used to be my Big favorite up. now boemo's my favorite cuz yeah. i got to meet boemo before i got to meet le sogo so i was like oh i know boemo <laughs> <laughs> like I know her. Like I know her. I'm always Big telling up. her we should do like these TikTok challenges together. Yeah. Anyway, awesome stuff. so there was a whole Lisa Kajani. Like yeah. I heard her voice. I didn't know who she was. I yeah. just saw this short lady, gorgeous lighting complexion, elder woman, gets on the mic, talks on Wednesday because mm. I didn't do anything on Wednesday. I was just coming from my bedroom yeah. into this huge event for my country. <laughs> um uh, let's see what's going to happen. You sit in the back seat first. You don't come in. Hello, I yeah, am the diva. It is I. No, you don't play those games in here. Um so you know I was very humble sitting at the back and I was just listening to people doing their thing and I listened to her when she was on the mic. I was like, "Oh my god, let's go to this year." Um I got to MC with her and I think it was so beautiful that this presidency was ushered in by two women. Yeah, man. It has never been done in this country. It is an element of history yeah, in this country that we should acknowledge as we embrace this thing of not being afraid of Botswana women's power. Yeah. This presidency decided to have two women handle and anchor a presidency that was well awaited yeah. by many 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 yeah. many many many. Except it, one. I saw a lot of people <laughs> well. <laughs> Don't get me started on bad that. Bad jokes, bad joke. There's still one nigga in SA out here while playing. This is my diplomacy <laughs> face. My poker face. Is this what I, I do? I'm just playing. You know I'm playing. But I'm, I'm going to do that while you're not playing. But yes, like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to be diplomatic. Yes, and it's important to be diplomatic. Yeah, I think you need to invite me back for that one. No, I'm definitely inviting you back. Because I have need... a couple of things to say about that, but I'm not ready. Yes, we're going to have to shut it down. But I have to ask you about... Okay, so yeah, that was my number one. Yes. My number one, that was it. Because this, this, this event opened up a platform for me to catch up with everybody else i thought mm. i was behind because this was an international platform it thrust you to the yo to the bro yeah. it was like what do you like i had to ask myself jazz you've got two days 
You don't know how long other people have been rehearsing for, and it was clear everybody had been rehearsing for been a while. When I rocked life, up on mommy. Wednesday, no, but still, bro, mm, you understand. And event that you. big, can we let everybody get involved at the right time? Yeah. But for me, it was like, oh my goodness, what are you going to do with this? Mm. Are you going to come in and just be an announcer yeah. who had two days, yeah. or are you going to use this opportunity to make sure that any other jobs after this remember your name? Definitely, and they did. Yeah, I heard. Eh? <laughs> My sister had to call me because I didn't sleep on Thursday. Yeah, yeah. I didn't sleep Thursday night. Wednesday, I wasn't really involved in the rehearsal. I just watched, and Lissor was amazing. Yeah, Lissor, hello, Lissor. If I hadn't said hello no, yet, you did she say was hello. amazing. She held my hand through it. She made sure I was caught up with everyone. Shame, she's sweet as much as she is professional. Come I adore on, her. I absolutely adore Dope. her. I adore her. I adore you. I am in awe of you, Lissor. Like. I love you. Can we please go for coffee or something? <laughs> um, she's so, too busy reading the news. Yeah, she's a freaking leader. You yeah. know, she's a huge, powerful leader. So yeah, she was so sweet. She held my hand through the situation. She was like, okay, Naka, you know what? Yeah. You do the English Mina, I do the Swana. We vibe it together. I said, no problem. I'm going to follow your leader. Yeah. Hey. Because to the place where we can actually make money. Because yes, our our former presidents have acknowledged the creative arts, but I really believe Masisi's presidency actually made it created the beginning of the creative industry actually making money from its talent. Yeah. It was one thing to be acknowledged. I had done, before Masisi's presidency, I had done a few government jobs. Yeah. And I was overwhelmed because I was like, what? The government knows I exist. Yeah. But I wasn't making money from it. Yeah. It was a privilege. Yeah. I understand. I remember that. It was a that. privilege yeah. for you to be trusted. Yeah. Yeah. As a professional, it was nowhere near a lot. I think we have somewhere to go. Yeah, I think we can improve it. Mm. I think there's that's why I would love a conversation. Coffee, mm. something, yeah, sandwiches. Right. I can drink juice <laughs> or gin <laughs> or beer. <laughs> Whichever uh, way, whichever way. Yeah, but uh, constructive advice so that we can do things better. But yeah, so that's why it's my number one, my brother, because this man, he doesn't know it. I think he was just like, yeah, get me the MCs. Give me an English one. I don't know. I don't know what was But I think on. at the same time, learn but about it because he is an orator also. So I think they don't want someone who's just going to come in there and just drop the ball. Yeah. He, he prides himself in being a good communicator. Yeah. So and I'm, I understand, guessing, you know, even though we don't have, we don't have like a strong relationship, me and him, I think, I think we could do better. But um, what I can say, like, we don't have a strong relationship, me and him. I think we could do better. Emma. But what I can say is, I feel like I understand him because we share the same star sign. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say because of map. No, well, there's that too. Hey, but, well, uh, well, <laughs> you know, we're, we're I both, don't think we're can say Yeah, now. no, I understand how he operates. Sometimes I look at certain things and I don't understand them because I'm not politically inclined or yeah. educated in the political sense. Yeah. But... As as a Cancerian, I get it. Sometimes we like, yeah, we operate a certain way, but give us some time, you'll yeah. figure out why we were doing certain things. We we tend to do things for tomorrow. <laughs> we're not today people. Um, we tend to do things for tomorrow where you don't get it right now, but you'll kind of get it around the corner. <laughs> but if you don't get it, it looks like you don't really... yeah. I am not here as a spokesperson for anything. (laughs) I'm not getting paid for that. There's people who are getting paid shitloads of money for that. But I'm just saying. Yeah, so I just really liked the fact that the guy could have picked anyone. But he chose two ladies. And he chose, yeah. And one of those ladies happened to be me, a person who was invisible. And I'm grateful for that job because after that job, other corporates were calling because, oh, she's still around. Oh, she still exists because I'm the one who's not active on social media. I'm I'm the one who's not drinking at cool places. So the guys don't know where to see me. You know how I've lived my life. We didn't even get into that part of the interview and I was ready for that. You know, you've seen me at a very difficult time in my life where I was living in Moritzane, and I was trying to piece my life together, dating yeah. a mechanic, didn't yeah. know what the hell was happening with my life. And I love you forever for being, you were one of my constants, bro. No, like, no, thank no you for continuing to look at me like I was me Come on. when I didn't recognize myself. Okay. 
I love you so much for that because yeah, cool. I didn't know who I was. Yeah. I was in a dark place, you know? Yeah. And you, every time, Tato, every time you came to visit me, every time you spent time with me, every time I came to see you, it reminded me of who I was. Yeah. And that was the beginning of me finding a way to come back to who I was. Yeah. So I appreciate you for that, my friend. You're and that is my me. number one, inaugurating the president, because now nobody can take it away from me. I am the inaugurator. I'm a president. The inaugurator. Come on. And now. I'm sorry, I didn't, put, I didn't put Dubai in there. I'm sorry, no, Dubai didn't Dubai make it. Dubai was going to be number one. No, Dubai was, <laughs> no, we need an interview a lot was for going Dubai. On. No, we're going to have a part two, because Dubai. I need you here also an, for, oh. for other stuff, because like we're going to have part two, part three, part four. Okay. I want to get Get into your name because this is going to be a conversation starter. Mm-hmm. Um, how about you, Bona? Mm-hmm. Your name is um, the Snaif. Where, oh, does the, where does this come in? Like um, where does it come in? And this is us getting closer to our ending. How is uh, because we can not act like it's not on the table. Um, in, in Africa, I'll speak about Africa because I come from Africa. Respectfully, I will not speak of other places, mm-hmm. but um. There are people in Africa that are called to acknowledge different realms. Um, We operate in this realm that we see of the physical. And there are those of us who are called to acknowledge the spiritual realm. And... um, I'm a little bit nervous now because I haven't even talked about this. Mm. Uh, no, I want to hear You made me way too comfortable, but <laughs> it's okay. It's my truth and I will watch this 10 years from now. Yes. Um, yeah, so I'm going through that journey. Okay. Tato, um, it's, it's, it's been a calling from my childhood. Mm. I used to th- see things in my childhood. Um, I, I've, I've been through things in my childhood. I ran away from them for the longest time. Mm. My sister tends to tease me and say, you know, you think your voice and your gift of being able to capture an audience mm-hmm. was just so you can afford to pay rent and live your life because that's what I do. You know, yeah. you get this money, you pay rent, you give your child a child life, you mm. give yourself a life, you give yourself dignity, you keep it going. Not all of us have sugar daddies or rich husbands or <sighs> rich boyfriends somewhere. You know, some of us have to go out there and make it happen ourselves and Damn. we just have to wake up and realize that. And um, yeah, so I ran away from it, but my mm. sister would always be like, oh, do you not realize knowing your childhood, mm. this is bigger than that. Mm. I'm going through a, a, a journey, mm. which I would say as, as an African spiritualist, mm. I have acknowledged my African spiritual identity. Okay. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm on a journey, man. Mm. Out of respect for the journey, I, I will not say too much, too much but I'm it. comfortable mm. in acknowledging my African identity. Okay. Um, and I appreciate you for making me feel comfortable about sniffing yeah, because um, no problem at all. Uh, yeah, there was a time in my life I never thought I'd go through that. But I've yeah, met ma. people in my life who have taught me nice things. Mm. And one of those things is, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you'll be bringing your children to me. I'll be no, like, I'm c- they'll be like, are we going to auntie? Are we buying auntie Tracy? I know where to cop it. <laughs> I know exactly. I got a, I got a good plug. <laughs> uh, that's good. But you know what? Yeah, the so thing we embrace these things and we're looking yeah. forward to, you know, moving on with the journey. Next time you and I catch up, I'll, I'll yeah. be updating you a bit more. Please, but mommy. I'm humbled. I'm humbled that um, I've I've accepted my calling and I'm going through my paces. Mm. It's an interesting world. It's an interesting world. But I'm proud as an African and as someone who my ancestors have chosen to yeah. say, listen, man, there's things that, yeah, mm. et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. I mean, I respect the people who have gone before me. So I, I will not say further, but uh, yeah. That's what I always ask, Africa, like my. Yeah. 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 I can't imagine the burden that you have to carry also. Yeah, it's been it's been it's been a war. Um Ska, I've I've been one of those people that's been operating in a war zone with a smile. Mm. So some people think, Oh, you don't know what you're going through or you don't realize you're in a war. Um, it it serves us to mm. smile. 
Um, because if you if you show that you're at war, people realize you know what's happening. Hey, who runs in nag? Hella hella, kisa nzi kitsela. Ki kemi se disor na kwe kisa nzi kena leo anemu busilong. Emo jima kisa nzi ngai mpile. Kitla dirisa na kwe kore kiti dirisa lenzula aka le di trahalo se kiti bonemo la hati kore kiti tuwa le mo la hati. Kita na kwa kisa na luggage. La hali di bon zila. Kaya itu me lo so so much jazz. I'm so so happy. I have to shut it down. Um, I absolutely love you. We're definitely gonna bring you back again onto the show. And uh, who knows, man? We're gonna have more conversation like this um, going forward because the talent na ona lo kumpula ma krabo na kraya and you nearly got me all emotional and stuff. Kili bete le kasha pain. Thank you so so much. Yeah, no, show, no, you sobered me up, man. Like, what the hell? Thank you so, so much for oh, coming, Jess. Tato, I love you too. Um, and thank you for having me. Emma. I hope I've given you and your amazing production yes. something. I'm like, I'm yeah. a part of me that people didn't know, I hope. Because, I mean, Emma. you're my brother. Emma. So it was. I was Emma. watching your interview with Zen. I was like, yo, this one's going to ask me questions. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, uh, we know each other deep like no, that. No, no, no. So. I, I just love that you are able to open up and let. Like, Lynn, I didn't know you were going to go as deep as you did and yeah. like those those moments where like when you switch on and then what well, dress said like in a holistic way like i don't know you just go on a trance sometimes what about it's like you go and then All right, we'll see you guys on another episode of Anyway, Nikita, I love you too. I love, I love you too. too. I'm proud of your movement. <laughs> I am so happy because Emma. I was concerned that Emma. you were one of the casualties Emma. of this premature exit Emma. of exquisite talent in our Emma. country. Emma. You're one of the brilliant beasts that this country has breeded. Yeah, that's right, I'm and I, it used to scare me. <laughs> like, now he's not here. He's Emma. here. He hasn't Emma. moved to another country. Emma. What is to happen of him? Emma. I am so happy Emma. that you and local corner found each other Emma. may god bless you and tswelang hela ya lona ka ke proud to ka wena mo go mena ganeng ebile o mpulela le bati e go ngeta go bitswa ke go interviewa and that's go botsa dipozo pitu go la mike ya gore molato and that's our show peace bye guys